Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? And uh, welcome to a very chill stream actually today. Because... Uh, okay, that seems alright. Fried Rice, what's up? Lucas, what's up? Nerimis, what's up? Uh, Bert, White, SNS, Dan Fitzer, and again Fried Rice. What's up, are you guys doing today? Hope everyone's doing fine. Owl, what's up? Good to see you, man. Wild Goat, what's up, are you guys doing today? Uh, the gist of today. I'm too goddamn lazy to play this game off stream. So I'm finally gonna sit my goddamn ass down and actually play this godforsaken game because it's actually really good. The problem with me and this game is that I play five other games off stream and I never get to play this game because I play Souls like on stream and I don't want to play Souls like off stream. It's a whole can of worms, honestly. So we're gonna play this today, finally. I'm actually gonna continue this actually very good game. Like I've been playing it for like 10 hours, nine or 10 hours, something like that. The game is not that long, especially not for me, because I'm pretty well aware of how to play it. Is the game too quiet? Let me just set up everything, guys. Guys, is the game too loud or too quiet? Like, it's impossible to tell. I feel like it might be a bit too quiet. White Wolf Hama, I'm pretty good, my man. I'm very, very good. Uh, had a completely boring day, though, but otherwise very good. You're finally here, I had the question. Yeah, this is very much a Souls-like game, SNS. This is 100% a purebred Souls-like. And I now need to remember where to go. Last time I actually played the game, I killed the, the three Stooges. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood Stooges. It was a triple boss fight, guys. It was horrible, but I killed them. Very quiet? Yeah, I figured it out. I immediately realized that's way too quiet. Uh, um, should be still a little bit too quiet. The problem is when we get to boss fights, it could become very loud. Let's actually go Master Volume 5, everything on 4, and it should be fine, I think. Nope, not fine enough. Uh, let's put everything down to 5. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just join the Discord. My username on Discord is not the same. Don't worry, my friend. Andre, what's up? Darian, what's up? F ha four and a half hours? What do you mean? Four and a half hours left on Liza P? Romic, what's up? How's it going, guys? I've been using this greatsword actually for a while and I've been kicking ass with it. I actually really love this thing. It's a goddamn... Like, I don't know how to explain... It has the Getsuga Tensho ability, if I can remember how to cast it. Uh, I need to remember the moveset, my god. The moveset is this. Yeah, it has Getsuga Tensho, guys. Like, we are actually cosplaying a Bleach character at this point. But today is going to be a very chill stream. The build currently is a Motivity build or a Strength build, right? Uh, motivity, if I remember, is Strength in this game. But for anybody who is going to ask the same question, yes, this is a Souls-like and it is a very good Souls-like, by the way. This is the only... So I played like... Oh yeah, I forgot about these things. I played like a ton of Souls-like already, but this is the only one that I really like. I don't know why, I feel like it's the only unique one. Every other Souls-like that I played is pretty much stealing from software. Lord Vader, what's up? Hope you're doing fine, Andre. I'm doing great today. Why am I a donkey? Uh, because I can. If you ever see anything weird in the stream, that's because I can. What the fuck? Who hit me? You hit me? Wait, I can charge this? Yeah, I forgot. Ah, uh, that won't reach. And it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get back into the swing of things. Someone kill me, I'm going to have back and cook. I'm going to have to go back and cook what cook stain. Also, Ajax, what's up? Also, no music today. I don't like to play music when I play a new game. It's kind of not the point of a single game. I need to remember where the hell I need to go, guys. I haven't played this game in weeks. In weeks! But it's kind of fun. Like, every time I play a new game, especially games like this, I always have to clear the entire level. I never I never run around anything anymore. Like, I need to actually fight regular enemies, which beat me up with a fucking stick, apparently. Who's playing music? In any case play Doom in my own ass. I was actually thinking, guys... Wake up. It's so hard to play when you're not... when you're streaming. You cook every Tuesday? Ah, doing a culinary course. How does actually that look like, Bert? I've never done a culinary course in my life, but I would actually try, like to try one out. Have I watched Toradora yet? Nope. Absolutely not. Currently, I'm way too much busy playing Subnautica and Dragon's Dogma 2. I've been trying to watch a movie with my girlfriend for the past, like, two weeks, but I can always have no energy for it at the end of the day. I'll eventually get, like, anime. I've been- I, I've watched a lot more anime in my past than I currently do. Let's actually bait this guy out. Bye-bye. 
but I'll probably get to a point again where I will watch a lot more anime. There used to be a time in my life that where I uh, basically watched like anime every other week, or e I watched another anime every other week because I was finishing everything in like a couple of days. It was insane. I haven't touched an anime in almost two years. Exa it's kind of like me, exactly that. The only anime I touched was uh, One Piece, because it's One Piece. But uh, nothing else, no. Nothing else. It's a fun but full of weird teenagers, so very broken humor. That's like every anime, my friend. Okay, we haven't been in this place because I'm picking up new items. Nice. Very nice. Uh, that looks like a boss arena. Rosa e la Bella Street. Yeah, now I remember where we are. Okay. Vladimir, what's up? Has anybody seen Made in the Abyss? I've heard about it. Like, I've heard about pretty much every anime that exists, but... Oh my god. Ah, uh, now we're getting... We're back with guns in night fights. Nice. I like the great song a lot. Though it is a little bit slow. Heal. I'm watching Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul is another anime that I could never get into, guys. Oh, fuck, I forgot. The marionette children. Fuck my life. Run away. Run away. I don't like marionette children. I really do not. Creeps, creeps me the fuck out. Now I remember, actually. Guys. Has anybody played the game Dante's Inferno? Has anybody of you played that game? Say yay if you have. Because there is a very disturbing scene in that game. Where you go into, I think, the first, like, circle of hell. And there is just dead, unborn children attacking. It's horrible. Like, go watch the gameplay of that game because it's amazing, but... The first circle of hell, it's a forgotten gem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember, I will never forget that scene. When you go into the first circle of hell and fucking unborn children are attacking you, it was so gruesome. It was probably the most horrible... I will never forget it. It was, most ho it was the most horrible thing I've ever seen. The black dress. But it's just a puppet? What on earth is going on? Yes. <laughs> that is in pain when I go back from the club. <laughs> this game is a mission of Genshin Impact Honkai Star Layer Eldering. How is this Honkai Star Layer, Honkai Star Rail related, my friend? One curious thing that I just realized. When you're a Croatian and you try to speak a sentence with two R's, with a with a with like Honkai Star Rail, it's impossible to pronounce. If I if I if a word ends with an R and another word starts with an R, you always mess it up as a creation. Star Rail, it, it's impossible to pronounce. It's so difficult. <laughs> yeah, Honkai Star Rail is a turn-based game. Like, how is this? I remind you of Honkai Star Rail, my friend. I'm actually confused. Creation debuff. <laughs> You need to drink Croatian buff to actually overcome that. You need to have a shot of Rakia beforehand. And then you can pronounce those kinds of things. Electric Blitz Canister. One thing I realized in this game, guys, which is a little bit which is a little bit weird, is that uh, consumables are broken. Like, they're straight up broken. Like, consumables deal so much damage on the right build. You've sunk way too much in Honkai. Uh, Raiho, thanks for the follow. Gamba is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo, what's up from day? Oh my god. Juke. No, no, no. One thing I really like about the enemy design in this game. Uh, enemies chase you down like they like you owe them like you owe them money, basically. Like they will every every one of them every one of their attacks is basically a chase down mechanic. Like running away from them is very, very difficult. This was a shortcut, but it's a shortcut to where, my friend? What is my favorite boss in what game, Vladimir? In what game? I love how people just ask me what is my favorite boss in what game? What game are we referring to? Also, allergies are killing me today, guys. It's a good thing we take a break today. I would not be able to... do the regular content today. Uh... Oh shit, I'm hearing something. In Lies of P, I currently don't have a favorite boss. I haven't played the game enough. I've seen some I've seen some very 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 cool bosses later on though. Ah. Ah, wait, where does this lead to? This leads back to Aha, uh -huh. yes, uh, classic Souls game design. I'm again lost, guys. There is a stargazer somewhere over here. I need to remember where it is though. Oh, shot in the face. The enemies are all debt collectors, kind of. 
I mean, currently they're all old women. Gamble, chat, gamble on what? Ah, not the children again. Not the children. What the fuck is the stargazer here? I know there is a stargazer somewhere over here. Okay, there is not a stargazer over here. I'm completely lost. Do we just go back the normal way? If I lose, just kill everything? Nah. Not a good idea. I mean, it is a good idea, but... Let's just go back the regular path again. Hmm. Some people say Lies of Peace harder than Bloodborne and Sekiro. It seems to be harder, yes. Yeah, for now, it's been quite easy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, the game has not surprised me too much. But uh, I play these games professionally, so literally, if it surprised me, that would be concerning. But it, it, it's definitely harder than Sekiro. That I can tell you. It's definitely harder than Sekiro. Uh, Sekiro has a much more lenient, like, parry mechanic. Much. Uh, uh, and parrying in Sekiro is straight up, like, Super, super strong and good. But in this game, parrying seems to be very important, but it's very hard to do. Go back to the flamethrower, dude? Yeah, I'm figuring it out. Not very, man. Don't worry. Getting lost is my specialty. Like, when Bloodborne came out, I don't shit you guys, I was literally lost, like, in Yarnam for, like, a month. I could not remember where to go, ever. I was straight up lost all the time. That Michelle kid? The Michelle kid has been banned, Ajax. <laughs> After the last stream, I just straight up banned him. <laughs> because he wouldn't shut up. One good thing, though, about uh, YouTube banning system, though, is that... Uh, it's kind of funny, actually. When you ban somebody on YouTube, they don't actually... Uh, they can still chat in stream. The only difference is that the only people who can see the, the hear them chatting are me and them. Like, you guys can't see it. So they, the, the band people could still be chatting in stream, we just don't know it. We just don't know it. Also, I just took a boulder to my face and I haven't even flinched. That's what, that's what happens when you level up Vigor, guys. I've sent it to the Shadow Realm, yeah. It is actually just the Shadow Realm. It is actually just the Shadow Realm. Do these guys have Tommy guns? What is this? Oh, that's flamethrowers. Ah, I realized that was a canister. Where did you come from? We can find him IRL if anything. I, I, hopefully we don't find him IRL. People who are... People who tend to be very annoying, like, online, are probably very annoying... I'm overheated. Are probably very annoying uh, in real life as well. I haven't met a single person that isn't annoying online and isn't annoying in real life as well. Skravarza, thanks for, thanks for the support. Lord, what's up, Arundel? YouTube banning is fucked. Why is YouTube banning fucked? Didn't you say YouTube banning is great? Or maybe I got that wrong. Okay, let me actually focus here for a sec. Don't let the trolls know. I don't care if the trolls know, uh, Fried. It's better if they know. It's funnier then. Isn't it? I, trust me, the moment somebody gets banned, they immediately leave the stream. They, those guys never watch the stream for enjoyment, they just watch because they want to be annoying. Like, I really, really highly doubt that any troll watches somebody... I Maybe there, maybe there are some, like, good trolls. But, like, those annoying trolls probably don't watch the stream for enjoyment, they watch for... They watch for... To be annoying, basically. Kids these days. Yeah, I agree. But it's the way this shit goes, guys. It's not really annoying. Like, most of the time, it's just funny, in my opinion. I can't I don't really care. I don't really care. Hidden people, even I can't see them? I'm pretty sure I am the only one that can see them, Lord. Hey, <laughs> what's up, Totofari? Uh, Sholuko, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Again, this game is ripping off Bioshock Infinite a little bit too much, in my opinion. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> but half the areas I actually visit remind me so much of Bioshock Infinite. It's insane. Have you already raided Streamlabs house? I would I would be surprised if you did. But I think I actually fixed Streamlabs for today, guys. It should be fine. It should be very, very fine. What the hell are you? I haven't seen this enemy yet. Oh no, I did see this enemy. This is a fucking bombardment marionette. Yep. 
It's a fucking mobile turret, guys. Jesus. Please don't do that anymore. You should try DMC5, brother. DMC3 is one of my favorite. Mad clown puppet, what? Ah, uh, it's a boss fight here. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I played DMC5. Uh, DMC3 is one of my all-time favorite games. DMC3 is one of my all-time favorite games of all time. Yes, English. Perfect. Uh, uh, okay. We are fighting uh, Devourer from Heroes of New York. Nice. Every time you see an enemy wind up their hands, like, to the side, it always means they're going to... Okay, we need to parry this asshole. We either need to parry this asshole or we need to... Oh, fuck. Need to find a way to get my charge attacks in. It's not gonna work. I gotta say, the enemy design in this game is very off-putting, or it's very... It's very hard to figure out what the enemies are even trying to do to you. Okay, that's a place where we can land charge attacks. There we go. Oh, all of them. Okay, charge attack. Maybe that. Mad clown puppet, it seems. When he spin its perfect parry moment. Yeah, but you need to learn the parry moment. I suck at parrying usually, especially in a game like this. Can we learn Toto's IQ? Yes, we can. Let's actually try it out. Guys, what is your streamer's IQ? I'll write it in the Twitch chat. My IQ is 92. I'm a normal human being, guys. Let's go. It is actually just 92. Pog. Pog. You need to wait a little bit, like rights, because the bot needs to refresh before actually typing in IQ. If you have any other funny, like, uh, random number generator ideas, I'll add them in. Also, like rights, how are you doing today? I'll definitely add them in. We need to clear out this area. This area is actually hell. Hop, hop, and die. Guys, you can't spam the bot. You need to wait a little bit. Oh, shit. Nice. Dog, what's up, Rene? Uh, let's bait out the mad clown puppet down here so we can kill it. I would have very low IQ. Why do you feel like that, Bert? By the way, in my opinion, IQ is the dumbest stat that humans have came up with. Because when you think about it for a second, it's based... Like, the IQ point system is based on metrics that, in my opinion, don't actually justify intelligence. Like, who the fuck cares if you can put, like, billions of triangles together in the perfect order, whatever. Like, it really doesn't matter. Or if you can... F like, IQ is determined by how fast can you find the pattern in the number system. Like, who the fuck cares about that shit? Some people don't are not good with arithmetic, and they would have, like, very low IQ because their arithmetic skill sucks. Like, it's actually just dumb. It's actually, it's completely dumb. It's a very, very arbitrary stat. But everybody loves to brag about their IQ, so it's kind of funny to put it in the chat. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot we can actually do this. Uh, grindstone. Flaming Young, let's go. Uh, I do have... Pog. Please get a little bit into more of an open territory, my friend, here. Like, can I get Suga Tensho, you? Get Suga Tensho! <laughs> Get to attention is broken, guys. What the belly flop? Guys, we are fighting the budget Godskin up Godskin Noble, guys. This is actually just the budget Godskin Noble. Belly flop, what is it? Okay, stagger. Oh shit. Nice, there we go. Now we have a parry. This is basically how I've been going through the, the entirety of the game. I've been just spamming, like, heavy attacks and staggering enemies. That's that's how I played this entire game up until now. It seems to be a good strategy, honestly. Like, uh... What the f Oh, yeah, you can't dodge that. Like, a good strategy seems to be just, like... <laughs> stagger every enemy that you, can, that you can find. Have some decay. Have more decay. 
The K seems to be also a good debuff on these guys. Belly flop? What is happening? Opa. More the cape. Shit. <laughs> Why am I not losing long glaive? Because I'm not a filthy dex build. Okay, these guys are actually starting to do very quite a bit of damage, guys. This game is already brutal, Wolf. Uh, I do actually have the long glaive, but I'm not a dex build, unfortunately. I do need to do another playthrough of this game, but I'm not sure uh, what kind of challenge I want to do for it. I have a very, very torturous cha challenge like in mind for this game. Uh, can you beat Lies of P without using stamina? That is absolute torture, though. That, that would be horrible to do. That would be ab it, it would be better to stick my eyes with needles than actually try to try that challenge run. Because this game is extremely linear. It is super, super, super linear. It would be very, very hard to accomplish that challenge run. Uh, boulder, boulder. How do you forget every single time? Brother, I got hit by the boulder again. Almost. Yeah, the IQ is definitely lying. My IQ is probably like 3. Am I the only one that streamers can give me a... <laughs> You need to wait, Ajax. They're spamming the goddamn chat with IQ. I would rather do the God Run. I would not rather do the God Run, but... Uh, you can see how that is a very problematic challenge, right? No stamina lies of P, I think is actually doable, but... Brother. Brother, we would suffer for a long time before we would actually do that. Uh, puppet, come here. What the fuck? Why is the puppet now not reacting? Do I need to get to it all the way? Or is it just walking very slowly here? You can run past him to the Stargazer. Thank you, that's actually good advice. That is good backseating. That is very good backseating. I like that. Because I would not actually have known that. Oh yeah, fantastic. Give every enemy a fucking kick, man. You suck. Time for the boss. Ah, today is the Master of Puppets, isn't it? I suspect the Master of Puppets is the next boss. I do... I'm a little bit spoiled on this game. I'm not that spoiled, but I'm a little bit spoiled. Uh, you say run past him, right? Where is the Stargazer, my boy? Where... Ah, there you are. Now we can fight him much easier. Nice, thank you. So smart. I think the max IQ you can get, guys, is 200, by the way. Fuck off. Wait, if I quit out... Wait, how does this work? I never actually haven't tried that. I never tried to quit out out of this game. Does it reset enemies? This game is meh. I like it, Yule. I really, really like it. Like... Why do you think it's meh? Did you try it, Yule? <coughs> Did he shoot his pee, pee Maybe. What's up, K? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Does it reset enemies? It does. Nice. It does. Attribute purification in honor of the happiest days, blah, blah, blah. I still miss you, Camille. GG. Thank you. It's rest. I will not make a video about this. No, this, this is just chill streaming today, man. Today I have not a desire to continue Elden Ring. Today I wanted to take a little bit of a break. Next week, we're gonna do a lot of shenanigans, though. We're gonna be doing randomizer no-hits. We're gonna be doing arcane only. Next ne next week, I might just do, like, randomizer no-hit all the way. Like, finish the arcane only run and just do, like, randomizer no-hit attempts. To get some more funny meme situations. Uh, short cover is this? It's a short cover later. Lily Soul, thanks for the follow. Future Einstein? <laughs> Einstein also didn't like IQ, by the way. Fun fact. Where the fuck did I actually come from right now? Here. Let's kill the puppet. I, I usually, like, in this game, I tend to, like, not try to fight these guys super seriously. Because they're kind of like mini-bosses. And I don't really want to waste my time trying to figure out their movesets. So I'm just kind of bum-rushing them. Or trying to... Ah. Yeah, this guy needs to be figured out. He has way too many fast-paced attacks. Alright. Alright, wanna be it.
so be it. Wait, how did the incantations randomizer felt? I'm sure it was fun. What do you mean incantation randomizer? Ah, the... The, 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 that one, yeah. That was, that one was really fun, I'm not gonna lie. You don't know if you continue Lies of Pete? I have the same issue. But overall, I would say the game is very much... We do quite a lot of damage to him, which is interesting. He also does quite a lot of damage to us, guys. Honestly, Dex seems to be better in this game, by the way. Dex seems to be a lot better because it's a little bit easier to then uh, figure out how to parry enemies. He is definitely more strength for its agents. Uh, definitely. The clown makes you wish you want to have a shotgun. Can we cheese him in a way? Let me try this out, guys. Can I just decay his ass? Have some decay. <laughs> I'm getting a comedic fist in my face. Okay, let's, ju let's just try to cheese him, guys. Cheesing is always a good idea. Uh, Sheena, what's up with today? I'm doing great today. Hope you're doing fine as well. Oh my god, the belly flop. The belly flop! The strongest attack in the game. He has another attack there. Yo, the timing to these attacks is impossible to figure out, I swear to Christ. Nice. He has another attack after that. Brother, this guy is insane. Okay, first actually hard mini pose that I encountered. Nice. Strength sucks in this game. Strength is the meta in this game, Amieno. Uh, I don't have the build currently, but there is basically a wrench in this game that allows you to like two shot bosses. Uh, this weapon, let me actually try to tell you. This weapon over here. If you build this weapon right, it can two shot bosses. It's actually completely busted. But it's very hard to... It requires a lot of game knowledge to actually pull it off. You can't just willy-nilly use it. Okay, let's try to pet this guy. It's very hard to pet in this game. Can I just straight this guy, maybe? Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> the belly flop, guys. The fucking belly flop, man. Strongest attack in the game. Infinite hitbox. That's what I used. Did you try the shield? There is a shield in this game, like right? I didn't try the shield, no. I did not try the shield. I didn't even see a shield in this game. Alright, you fucking fat clown. This looks like a... Wait, did Donkey play this game, Lord? I don't remember Donkey playing this game, right? This is definitely a game that Donkey should play. Like, uh, my, one of my favorite Donkey videos is definitely Neo playthrough. It's impossible, man. Oh, the clown! The clown is winning, guys. This guy's fucking insane. An advanced build is really good in this game? What do you mean advanced? I'm not that knowledgeable still in this game. The DLC will be great, Math, don't worry. Uh, none of From Software's DLCs have uh, discouraged me so far. Strength has good guard boost. I should actually try to use more guards in this game. Probably would be a good idea. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh! Fuck off. The belly flop, the belly flop. Oh my god. The belly flop. Nice. There you go. This guy's insane HP. I might need to level up my weapon a little bit more before I try to side. Out. Belly flop. Belly flop. I think I'm gonna give up trying to parry him. I'm gonna try to. I'm too greedy. The greed. Oh, belly flop! Oh not the belly flop, please. Just not the belly flop. Anything but the belly flop. Oh, the belly flop. Oh my god. <laughs> Will you stop with the fucking belly flop? 
the one thing that I don't want to see. Oh my god, oh my god. Get to attention. Get to attention always works. There we go. And grab the post. Senor Fuga, what's up? Let's actually cheese him now. Decay. Oh fuck. Fuck off. Have some more decay. Let's actually heal to full HP here and then play it safe. Oh. I need to actually sharpen my weapon because that's actually a mechanic in this game. More decay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Please fuck off. Please fuck off. Ah, uh, there we go. Go get into the decay, my friend. There we go. The belly prop has betrayed you! Fight. Nice. Belly flop. Nice. There you go. GG. The belly flop. The belly flop has betrayed him, guys. Wait, is he dead? Uh, he's dead. Okay. He disappeared. How's the game so far? Pretty good, my man. Overall, I would give it for now an 8 out of 10. Like, it's very interesting. It has a lot of very weird design choices, which I really like. It reminds me a lot of Bioshock Infinite, like, I really, really, it really reminds me... Everybody is saying it's reminding them of, like, Sekiro and Bloodborne, but for me it's, like, Bioshock Infinite inspired. GG, boys. The clowns are the hardest boss. The game is super challenging, yes. It's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. It requires a lot of patience and thought. This is a boss 100%, right? Yep, this is 100% a boss, or it's a major quest point. Actually, this is not a boss, this is a quest point. Let me actually explore around the cathedral, cathedral first. Uh, that's a... Bro, 118, 1 IQ. Uh, Traveler, you will get spoilers here, don't worry. Because I don't moderate spoilers and... Uh, Backseating. I really, really don't. The fuck are you? Brother, anybody who is, a, who is afraid of, like, puppets and clowns is gonna have a very bad problem with this game. Like... You're gonna have to get used to it. It's gonna be a longer stream? Probably... In... We'll see, actually. Depends on if I get stuck on a boss, honestly. If I get stuck on a boss, I might just, like beat my head against the wall for like good hour before I beat him. This looks like Hotel Krat. Hmm. There is a lot of blood. Ah, yes. Puppet strings. Fantastic. Disruption? What the fuck is disruption? Is that like death light? I want to see what happens. Ah, it staggers you in place. Interesting. Alright, there is also disruption, guys, it seems. Do you think that puppets can swim? If they are made of wood, then yeah. But they will rot. The boss here is really nice. The boss here is the puppet master that I know of. <laughs> disruption with death plight. Ah, yeah. Disruption occurs when disruption damage builds up. I love how every fucking, like, tip starts with a completely branded explanation. Disruption occurs when disruption damage build up. builds up. No shit, Sherlock. Uh... Your character... Ah, it is actually Death Blight. It, it actually is Death Blight. When the disruption de damage gauge fills up, your character will die. It is literally Death Blight. Alright. I have the sixth sense. Decay is the same as... It, it's kind of the same... It's the same as Rot, but also not the same. It seems to be a weird mechanic. To be fair, I don't really know. I mean, they would not give you Scarlet Rot in your offhand if it was like Rot, trust me. Trust me, they wouldn't. Okay, we will not get disrupted. Oh shit. Maybe we will. Charge it back! They don't get staggered, what? Every time an enemy doesn't get staggered by my very, very heavy... Greatsword. Oh my god. You have like 10 kg on yourself and you're not good. I hate enemies that can't be staggered, man. What the fuck is that? Monka Unga Bunga, yeah. 
kill the puppeteer first. I don't know where the puppeteer is, my friend. I'm not. I didn't. I've never played this game before, traveler. Trust me. Like I would kill everything first if I could. Mm -mm -mm. There are gold threads controlling them, yes, but I don't know what they are. I haven't been to this place. I have not been to this place. Can I stab, backstab you? Yes, I can. Perfect. You're not dead. Uh, let's just use the Demon Souls mechanic here and... Maybe not. Maybe we're not doing the Demon Souls mechanic. Okay, they're not getting staggered. I'm fucking off. Goodbye. Where is the puppeteer? What the fuck is this shit? That is absolutely disturbing. Aha! Also disruption. Fantastic. Okay. The fuck is this? Is that a fucking Mary Antoinette on fucking spider legs? Alright. It's time to cause the French Revolution, I guess. The growls are so visceral. Yeah, they are. The, the, the sound design is very good in this game. Yeah, th this game is invoking all the nightmares, I agree. Thankfully, I... Like, guys, one question. Are there... Uh, what's it called? Are there grass grasshoppers in this game? That is the only insect I fear, grasshoppers. If there are grasshoppers in this game, I will immediately stop playing the game. There are grasshoppers? Well, time to quit the game. Time to actually quit the game. Okay, can I please not get disrupted? Madam, woman, spider, whatever you are. Why can't I stagger anything in this game anymore? What is happening now? Done! Right. Does the puppeteer now disappear? No, the puppet strings are still there. Oh, that is not good at all. Uh, Luca, thanks for the compliment, man. Glad you enjoyed the content, my friend. Oh, the puppet strings are gone. Now they don't apply any more disruption, right? Perfect. So the puppeteer gives them a buff. Nice. Very nice. Praying mantis are... Hmm. Yeah, guys, we have a problem here, I think. Hmm. This is definitely a predicament. YouTube moderation should kick in there. <laughs> Let's kill the other one. Let's get to the area boss here. Puppeteer get Ah, okay, that makes sense. I mean, it does make sense. Yeah, they get a buff. They basically get a buff. So kill the puppeteers then. No problem. Get to attention. Come back here. Shit, shit, shit. I don't like this place. I don't like this place. This is worse than Miyazaki's dreams, guys. At least in Miyazaki, we get poisoned all the time. Today, we are getting death blighted all the time. Do you want to grapple anybody? <laughs> what other games you play? Currently, I'm playing Dragon's Dogma. I'm replaying Subnautica. I'm also playing a lot of Elden Ring off-stream because I need to practice. Uh, actually, today, I practiced... Oh my god. Today I practiced a uh, level 1 speedrunning on Mo Malenia and Nial. And the worst boss fight over there is definitely Mo, believe it or not. Like, on level 1, Malenia is completely, like, manageable, but Mo is a whole other story if we need to run away. Brother, I can't even run away. This place is horrible, guys. This is actually just a horrible place. Can you please die? Here we go. Consumables are busted in this game? I know. I know, Stain. Oh, we're actually totally sane. Consumables seem to be completely broken in this game, yeah. But I'm not using it too much because I haven't found a consum I haven't found the merchant that sells infinite amounts of consumables. Uh, I know there exists a merchant in this game that does that, but I haven't found them yet. And honestly, it's a good thing I haven't found them. I don't want to abuse consumables in this playthrough. I really, really don't want to. Shit, run away, run away. 
Run away, run away. Have to get the spider lady down somehow, but she's surrounded by the stooges. How do we bait out the spider lady? The K maybe? Try the K. Come here, please. I have probably missed him, yeah, yeah. Most likely. Yeah. That. Oh, the K seems to be pretty good. What the hell? Bro, the K is eating them alive. This is very good. Streamlabs gave me one IQ. Nice. <laughs> Streamlabs giving anybody one IQ is great. <laughs> okay, the K seems to be the solution, guys. Yeah, this is eating them alive. My god. GG. Well, we found a solution. The solution to Death Blight is Scarlet Throat, apparently. Nice. Uh, I know what the K means, Fry, but... Honestly, whenever something is named in this game, it literally never means what it actually, like, says. Like, poison should not be... Sh like, toxic should not be named toxic in Dark Souls 3. It should be named literally cancer. That would be the most, like, descriptive description of it. The hell are we even now? This is just the game mid-rolling. You can... What the fuck is this shit? I haven't even... Uh, excuse me. Uh, please, pl uh, please uh, speak English, Luca. That, that way I can read like one language instead of two. It makes it easier for me and it makes it so that everybody can understand you. Uh, I don't even know how to approach this, guys. Like, I'm just gonna go away. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the side. I'd much, I'd much rather go into a dark tunnel than face that shit. <laughs> Yo, Ivan, what's up? Chinese is preferable? If you can, sure. Chi <laughs> Chinese is preferable. Can we not today? Thank you. Get me to the safe, please. Exploding pickaxe? What? Right. I do like the sound of that. I can speak Arabic. Guys, if you start speaking billions of languages, nobody will understand you. Uh, even those who are enemies, her reputation loved her songs. Bye bye. It's a shortcut, right? Mm, this is another shortcut. What? Nice. We got the exploding pickaxe, guys. That sounds very interesting. Let's cut it. Shortcut. As Toto streams turns into the Tower of Bubble. <laughs> Why the Tower of Bubble? <laughs> Let's try out the exploding pickaxe, guys. Let me go back to Hotel Krat. Pretty good strength pickaxe. I've been finding most, like... Uh, most of all, I've been finding, like... Uh, dexterity weapons. I haven't been finding too many strength weapons. Let's try the exploding pickaxe. <clears throat> Daniel, why the fuck is your IQ 200, my friend? That is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I love how everybody loves the IQ command. That is fantastic. Uh, Dancer's Curved Sword. What? Guys, that is the dancer of the Boreal Valley in this game? What? Alright. Exploding pickaxe, motivity perfect. Uh, where is the test arena? Here, right? In Spanish, Toto has a funny meaning. What does it mean in Spanish? Ooh. This seems like a good weapon for me. Yeah, I like this. What is the Fable Art? I like this very much. This is a very cool weapon. I like it a lot. It means ass, really? That's great. <laughs> that is actually just great. Oh, it has fire on it. Also nice. It also has another weapon art, but I don't know what this is. Why is my hand green? I'm turning into Doctor Strange, guys. What the hell is happening? Okay, Toto meaning ass in Spanish is the best thing that I've ever heard, honestly. Uh, so this is a big explosion effect, right? What are the charged heavies? Ass triceps. <laughs> charged heavies seem to be fine. Uh, what is a tap? 
Whoa. Wait, this is a tap? Can't be a tap. Ah, you can charge it or you can tap it. Interesting. <laughs> and this green because of that to see. Guys, you're horrible. That is also a good attack. It's, I'm gonna try this weapon out. Can we upgrade it, actually? Let's try it out. Less stamina consumption for a while. Is that a case? Let's test it out. Okay, that's about like one quarter. We pop this. Yeah, it is less stamina consumption for a while. That's actually really good. Nice. I like that. I like it a lot. I've been also having a trouble finding upgrade materials in this game. Hmm. But I've been using a bunch of different weapons here. Uh, we have 10 hidden moonstones. That's fine. That's fine. Can we upgrade this? We need Dark Moonstone of the Covenant. God knows where we find that. Crescent Moonstone. That's fine. Another Crescent Moonstone. You can buy a lot later. I figured, yeah. What is the damage? 224... Seems to be pretty good, but the scaling on this one is a little bit better. This deals a little bit more damage overall. Alright, let's play with the pickaxe a little bit. Pickaxe seems to be pretty cool. Today's streamlabs is not balls. I kind of fixed it, yeah. There is also a thing I want to see up here. <laughs> what is my favorite meal in, my, in our beloved country? Uh... Favorite meal in our beloved country. Hmm. It used to be Janetina. Uh, but uh, uh, Janetina is lamb, basically, guys. But I stopped eating meat like three years ago. So now I don't know. We don't make too many vegetarian dishes, honestly. What the fuck did he give me? I didn't pay attention. Ah, he gave me a picture. Thank you, Dad. You cannot use this right now? The fuck does it mean I can't use a picture right now? Okay, we'll get back, come back to it later. I already killed BRB. What is BRB? Vegan triceps? <laughs> yeah, it's vegan triceps. Uh, quartz, let's see. Uh, increase the maximum number of cube uses. Increases number of belt. Probably recovery, right? St shortens the gold coin tree. Blah. I killed the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Yeah, I did kill them. I did murder, murder their ass. Enhances recovery. I guess we go for recovery, right? Enhance fatal attack. <laughs> Lamp is so good. Enemy stagger duration is probably very nice. Discharged. Increase duration of fable arts. Let's see. Survival, maybe? There is a bunch of like customization options here. Let me actually check this, guys. Do you lie much here? I haven't lied at all today in this game. I mean, I did. I did lie that I'm human, not a puppet. But I still don't know what it means, honestly. I don't really understand the point of lying in this game currently. Resistant to attribute, has resistant to special increase the maximum number of pull cell uses. I really like that. Pull cell uses are always good. The more healing you have, the better, honestly. This is legion, this is ability. Charge. Pulse charge? I did grip I did grab it, don't worry. Uh quick wish stone. Use charge fable art when revived. Lying decides your ending? Yeah, I figured something like that would happen. Honestly, the endings really don't matter in these games. The only ending the only endings where I actually put any thought when it comes to these games is Sekiro. That's the only game where I put thought into endings, guys. I really, really wanted to get the Dragon's Homecoming. That ending was great. But otherwise, I don't really too much care. Because usually in Dark Souls, ah, you are either prolonging the Age of Fire or, like, siding with the Dark. And I always side with the Dark. Consumption and Dash is actually pretty good as well. Let's try Survival. At the Black Hood area, there is a merchant that sells infinite consumables. Okay, I'll go check it out immediately then. Infinite consumables are gonna make the game a lot, a lot easier. They matter for... Okay. For that sure, Helvet. <laughs> perfect. Increase the destruction damage to enemies when a perfect guard is successful. What is destruction damage, guys? 
Ooh, stagger attack of charge attacks. Yeah, baby, there we go. Charge attacks, let's go. I'm playing this game like I'm playing fucking... <laughs> I'm playing this game like I'm playing fucking Elden Ring, guys. Charge attacks for the win, boys. Uh, this charge, lower legion, reduces stamina consumption from dash. I'll grab this. Not enough quartz, fuck you. Where does it say how many quartz you need? Alright. Wait, how much? I probably need two quartz. Required items, I probably have zero. I have zero quartz, okay. We need one more quartz then. Uh, the build for the Elden Ring DLC, Daniel is going to be Lord Two Shanks. That is going to be my build, because he has two shanks. It's gonna be a dagger build, basically. Welcome. Uh, I actually bought all the quartz here. There is an infinite merchant and the Black Rabbit Brotherhood, you say. Teleport Stargazer. Uh, Malum District Town Hall. This is where I killed the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I'm not bored playing Elden Ring math. No, 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 I'm not bored. I'm really, really not bored. Uh, you have to understand, I played these games for like, these are my favorite games of, like, of all time. I think I played Dark Souls, not just as much as Elden Ring, but without content creation, I played a ton of Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1 only. Uh, so, Elden Ring being released from two years, the, the DLC is still not coming out. I'm really not bored of it. Uh, guys, where is the merchant? Guide me the direction, chat. I know the merchant is somewhere over here, right? But where is he? Is he over here? Or is he over there? Wrong waypoint? What Black Rabbit Brotherhood do you mean? Maleum District, okay. So here. How does Lies of P compare to Souls games? It's basically a copy of it, Luca. But it's a very unique copy, that's why I like it. This is the only Souls-like game that I played that I really like. This is the only one. I tried the first Lord of the Fall, and I tried Neo. This is the only one that I like. That is a ladder, you say. In the restaurant, climb the stairs. This is the restaurant, I guess, right? And there is this ladder, right? You mean here, guys? Ha! <laughs> Faith only run. Ah, there! What the? How did I miss this? I'm literally Zoro. At this point in at this point in my life, I'm quite literally Zoro, guys. Another curved sword. Record play time. Okay, so now we have infinite consumables. Oh, this is gonna be Pog. This is going to be Pog. I'm pretty sure the next enemy is a puppet, so let's get termite. Let's go termite and let's go. Okay, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. Let's see how the boss fares. Uh, what is this ring? Probably a quest line or something. Has goated moveset? There's a lot of customization. I really like the uh, I really like the game's mechanic where you can like mix and match different weapons. That's a really cool mechanic. I really really like that. I feel like that mechanic can be put into like Bloodborne like games very nicely. Because Bloodborne has a similar mechanic, but it's a trick weapon mechanic. Oh, I did pick up this. Oh, that's actually that the, the it marks. She loves you. Melody, my Melody. She was my guardian angel. Even puppets have hearts, do they not? Perhaps all we need is something that helps us perceive what they're feeling. <sighs> Sorry, I'm more than happy with Melody's belongings. Please, remember the love melody. Wedding ring, nice. We got the emote sad, nice, also nice. <laughs> Best part, it uh, wasn't a lie. Spreading the love, yeah, yeah. Spreading the love in the cheeks as well. Let's go fight the boss fights. Uh, I don't know, guys, if you've seen my last, like, uh, post in just chatting in Discord. I clicked on one Moist Criticals video. Immediately my homepage gets flooded with the first, the, the uh, more Charlie's videos. And the video is called The First Time I Tried to Suck My Own Penis. That is the first video that got immediately recommended to me after I clicked on one of Moist Criticals videos. It's insane. 
Like, literally, I clicked on one video, it immediately recommends me those kinds of... ...idiotic content that I already watched, by the way. Like, I knew about those videos for a long time. Yeah, the YouTube algorithm is great when you click on Mr. Beast or Charlie for some reason. Oh! That's very short range, I don't like that. Maybe I can... Maybe I can stop sucking at this game. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, there is a boss fight over there. <laughs> what is this Mario? Wait, what is this? Oh my god. Yeah, this this is the most stupid trap that I've ever seen in my life. If it does, Did anybody ever get hit with this? Now that I said I'm gonna get hit with it, don't worry. I didn't flood my feed with video essays. I don't click on video essays, big slappy. Uh, who is the boss fight here? Yeah, this is budget sense fortress. Totally sane, exactly. Dynasty Warriors is cool. Ah, I haven't played I haven't played Dynasty Warriors for a long time, man. Is that me over there? It's 10 hours total playtime. It's not stream time, I look, no. I played a lot of I played most of it off stream. I don't like to full playthroughs on a stream. That's kind of boring for me. But sometimes I like to come in here with like a game I'm playing to just like like fresh it up. Go to the cutscene. <laughs> we'll see. Guys, am I gonna get ass blasted by the boss or not? Is the boss gonna tear my ass on a new one? Modefire, what's up? Yes, nice. Ah, fuck. You don't see cutscenes like this in other Souls games, that's why I like this one. It's just weird. It's, oh yeah, Puppet Master, there we go. I was expecting where they're gonna show up. He looks like fucking Ganon. Ah, Loki, what's up? Best bosses in the game? I have no enemies. You have. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why, but this guy reminds me of Father Ari Ariandel, guys. King of Puppets. Okay. Uh, I have a pickaxe, my friend. What are your attack patterns? Oh, it's pretty good damage. Okay. I'm guessing a phase 2 is gonna be upon us, right? I, I definitely feel like there is going to be a phase 2 here. By the amount of damage that I'm doing to him, it feels like a phase 2 is gonna be here. Mm, too slow. Explosive pickups! Charge attack! I should really dodge his attacks, honestly. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a phase two. Ooh. It's a weird attack. Can I stay beneath you and survive? There we go. Get Shrek. Damage pretty good. Yeah, charge attacks are definitely way to go, guys, in this game. 100% way to go. Where is the phase two King of Puppets, huh? Do we get your face too at the end of your health bar? Uh, what is that? What the fuck is that? Orbital bombardment? Yes. Yep. <laughs> charge attack. Yeah, the charge attack on this one is a little bit too short range. I don't know if this guy has a face too, guys. I'm just guessing. It feels like he has a face too. Shit, I can't do that. Well, good attempt at least. Mm, close, close. Then in doubt, charge attacks for sure. Ah, okay, he definitely has a face too, chat. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know, chat. 
Like everybody talking about what what second phase? Yeah, now no for one hundred percent he has a second phase. Thank you. Even the chat doesn't try to spoil you. It most likely will. We're gonna have to learn his uh, parry timings, guys. That is going to be very necessary, I think, here. At least you don't have a third phase yet, thankfully. Thankfully, no third phase. How does the K function with this guy? That's on the K. Nice. He doesn't have a follow-up here. He does. Shit. That other attack, like the backhand attack he does, is kind of very difficult to foresee. Doesn't have a follow-up here. He does. He doesn't. He does. I don't know. Just charge attack. Charge attack and think later. Charge it. Ooh. Charge attack. There we go. Let's have another follow-up. Nice. Grab the post. Are you okay with lore spoilers? I mean, I can't really stop them. That's the problem. And it's kind of hard to stop chatting doing anything. Exploding pickaxe OP. Okay, he fell on his ass. Nice. In the asshole. Perfect. F second phase, tell me. What is the second phase? Use electric grindstone? Mm, probably a good idea. Easy fight, easy life. Oh, shite. It's a fucking Escaflone moment. Nice. Come on, Vaughn Funnel. Oh god, I don't- I- Every time the boss reduces in size, he increases in bullshit. Oh shit. Ay ay ay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna need a new asshole after this one. The fuck are you, my friend? Romeo, King of Puppets. Oh, Christ, now we are in the Romeo and Juliet fiasco. Oh, oh, okay. The fuck is that shit? Oh. Yeah, this is not a good weapon against this guy. T-800? Yeah. Kinda looks like T-800 Puppet Edition. Oh my god, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Okay, that's a pretty good attack there. Oh, he has blocking mechanics. Also interesting. What the fuck is that shit? What is this moveset? What actually is this moveset, guys? Honestly. I need to sharpen it. Oh, fuck. Please go away. We need to sharpen our weapons, boys. No! Yeah, I'm gonna need the new asshole. <laughs> he's the Malenia. Oh, fuck, man. Don't tell me he's really the Malenia. Please, please do not tell me that. Let's go grab the electric grindstone. That's actually probably a good idea here. Change the weapon. I could change the weapon for... Hmm. Wait, how do I compare them? This does... Let's see, this does two... 11 plus 57. This does definitely more damage. I like the pickaxe. I'm gonna stick with the pickaxe. The pickaxe is really not the important thing here. The, more, the important thing here is to give good guys. Uh, he's also a puppet, right? Which means... Uh, increases damage inflicted on puppets. Probably good idea, right? And let's go grab... Uh, I don't know if electric damage is better than fire damage in this place, guys. The boss after this is the new Melania. Did you use the Trinity key yet? I don't know what the hell is. What is, what is that? Do I have any buffs here? Physical damage reduction. Am I fat rolling? Right, no. Romeo is Morgoth because he's king. Seems to be fine, seems to be fine. Let's try this letdown. 
My rolls are definitely shit. Absolute fire heavy attack. Uh, saw blade with a dancer blade handle. Saw blade with a dancer blade handle. I'll check out the dancer blade handle later for sure. Let's buff. Let's go. Yeah, this is gonna suck, guys. We're gonna have to give good very much. Very much give good. Charge attack. He interrupted my charge attack. Come on, man. Yeah, I probably need to, like, learn to parry this guy so I can get through the first phase very quickly. It's probably what I should do. I can't do charge attacks that is. You're gonna punish me. You're gonna have to parry our way through here. Not gonna work. He has the double attack there. And he has that attack. This is just a stagger, probably. Nope, nope. We are too slow on the charge decks. We need a faster weapon here, for sure. I'll take I'll take a reduction in my damage with a little bit of a faster weapon here. Maybe not. I mean, this is pretty good weapon when it comes to actually destroying the, the King of Puppets. Benini also invades taxes. <laughs> How is that miss? This is a weapon here. Let's go. Bro is mining the boss, kind of, yeah. Sharpen. Hey, hey, hey! Give me a second. Give me a goddamn second, please. Come on, Romeo. Fuck off, get some decay. Have the pickaxe, that's pretty good damage. If I can find places to nail in charge attacks, we're gonna be fine, guys. Charge attacks are the way. Stagger? Seems to be easily staggerable, at least. Need more stamina here. Can we trade that? Probably not, right? Stagger? There we go. Pickaxe OP, boys. Pickaxe actually OP. Pickaxe OP beyond belief. Exploding pickaxe! Run away, run away. Oh, oh no, he's buffing. I can buff as well. Okay, I can't. Fuck. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. What is this? The waterfall dance. Oh, my <laughs> What is that attack? Oh, God. Oh, yes. Now it starts. The waterfall dance, guys. Uh, Soul Blade plus Dancer's Blade Handle. Gotta try it. I like the pickaxe, honestly. I like heavy charge attacks. Uh, how do we dodge that guy? <laughs> that's fireball, that's firefall dance. Oh my god. Try an arm for extra damage. Uh, on honestly, the loadout seems fine. I mean, I almost killed him there, so. I feel like if I just get good a little bit, we're gonna be fine, guys. But, fighting the boss is really fun. Give me one medium rare toto, maybe. Shit, wrong buttons, god damn it, I haven't played this game in a long time. Oh no, bad positioning. No, definitely dodges attacks. Definitely dodges attacks and then punish accordingly. Just need to learn the dodge timings. I don't want to parry this guy. I want to dodge and punish. Nice. Shit, why didn't he get staggered? What the fuck? Another attack that needs to be avoided. Shit, shit. Yeah, definitely dodging is the way to go here. It's gonna make the fight simpler instead of learning the parry timings. Punish and repost the fiery donkey miner. Yeah, we're doing all the cosplays today. Nah. Can't punish that because it's too short range. Getting close to this guy's. I don't know that easy, honestly. 
Usually big bosses like this struggle with like close range attacks, but this guy doesn't seem to struggle with them. Nearly as much as I would like. Second phase, okay. This boss fight is easy. Give me a bigger challenge, please. Fantastic, he has a follow-up there as well. Come on, man. <laughs> Give me some range. Buff. What the hell is that shit? I feel like we can maybe bait out an attack here. Let's try this. It's potential. Yep. I want to bait him into charge attacks. He doesn't get staggered. That is bullshit beyond belief. Ah, uh, you can't parry that, huh? Ooh. Shit. Crap. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, the range of this attack is really sucky, guys. Oh no, he's throwing a scythe. Maybe running attacks. Maybe running attacks here are the way to go. Heavy running attacks. Yeah, probably a better idea. Let's use the hit and run tactic, it seems. We can't punish that. Hit and run tactics, hit and run tactics. Simply pretty good, guys. We don't have to eat a couple of attacks. But hit and run tactics seem to be very nice. But we can also then refill much easier the... Charge attack. Crap baskets. Ah. Yeah. Running heavy attacks seem to be the way to go. Also, I need to reduce the volume of the game a little bit. I think it's too loud. Crap bucket? No, it's crap baskets, not crap bucket. Are you actually Catwoman? Why am I cat? What, what the hell are. Guys, what the fuck are you talking about anymore? <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, let's try the electric grindstone actually. Yeah, probably a good idea. I think with electric grindstone we can like freeze them in place, right? Uh, you can change grindstone here. Switch grindstone. Electric. Nice. Let's try it out. If you can freeze one of them in place, like, we're gonna use the Pandemonium on second phase. We just need to get out of, like, first phase without having a scratch on us. We should be fine. We do ungodly amounts of damage, so that's pretty good. Can you grapple Batman? I'm not evading the question, I'm focusing on the game. Uh, can I please buff my friend? Thank you. Oh, I can't see. Couldn't see. Punish this. Roll that and heavy punish. Yeah, that does an ungodly amount of damage. I need to double roll that. Also, I should double roll that. There we go. Out of fucking range. Out of luck. Punish that light attack. He runs away. We can go inside of this. He runs away again. We are lacking a little bit of stamina here, guys. Stamina seems to be an issue with heavy weapons. Like with every heavy weapon. We can probably just stay here, right? Lack of stamina. Yeah, this is why I'm no stamina run of lies of people be held, guys. Stamina is more precious in this game than it is in Dark Souls 3, it seems. There we go. Grab the post, sad get. <laughs> oh no, stamina. The hell is that? New attack? New attack? Harmless attack, I think. Shit. Punish that. Second phase, let's go. I wish I could skip cutscenes faster, but I can't. 
Can I grind? Should I actually save the grindstone for second phase? I don't know. Okay, I can be dodged very easily. Okay, now we go hit and run tactics, right? So we run away. We'll do the pussy tactics here, guys. Hit and run. Strike. We need to get more stamina here. We can't do it like this. We cannot fight a boss half naked and without stamina. That is a horrible follow up R2. God damn it, is that bad. Hit. Heal. Give him a migraine. Char charge heavy. Charge heavy again. And completely missed point blank. Mm. Yo, this weapon is very hard to utilize. The range makes it very hard to do anything with this weapon. Where is the waterfall, huh? Shit. The K. His moveset seems very simplistic up until we get to a point where it becomes absolutely insane, right? Let's heal here, the K. Where is the waterfall, huh? Yeah, this weapon is not good against NPC fights. I like the battle flow, though. The moveset makes a lot of sense, at least. Oh no, I need to charge. Charge heavy, please. There we go. Please, poggers. Yeah, we actually have negative range, guys. It's insane. Nice, nice. They, he didn't do waterfall. Why didn't he do waterfall? Is there a trigger for waterfall? What the hell is that? That is the... Darth Vader grab move. Shit, negative range again? My god. That is so bad. Fuck you! Wait, is he dead? Please tell me he's dead. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. No third face. Woo! Let's go. Guys, you said this was hard. Incredible. You defeated the king. Guys, guys, I think guys. The puppets will have changed too, right? There's only one way to find out. Boss successfully oh, gooned. Yeah, always have canisters in your offhand. <laughs> always have electrical canisters in your offhand. That's the way you do it. Guys, you said it was hard. Why are you lying to me? This took like five tries. You guys are liars. Let's go, boys. <laughs> yeah, boss successfully gooned, yeah. Because I killed him with consumables. I really like consumables as finishers in this game because you can always get away with a lot of bullshit here. I like the boss. The boss was pretty cool. Your weapon is at plus six. That's a bit over leveled. How can it be over leveled? I literally followed the progression of the game, uh, Twitcher. There's no way it's over leveled. How is this over leveled? I literally explored everything that I could up until this point, and there are no side bosses. It's not over leveled. It cannot be over leveled. For the average player, it might be hard. Yeah, it seems like that. Let's actually go level up here. Yeah, they. You told me, guys. To you told me, guys, it was hard, but you lied. Yeah, exactly. If you have... Guys, the, the only way to preserve the purity of the experience is to do a lobotomite run. Like, you have to understand that it's completely broken for human beings to actually recognize bosses' attack patterns. You, recognizing bosses' attack patterns is basically cheating. You have to play this game without a brain, without weapon upgrades, without level ups, uh, without the game. You have to play it without just the PC. You have to code the game and then play it. That's how the run is done. <coughs> uh, where is... Um, your name is uh, Sophia, right? For a second there I thought, thought you were called Antonia. 
Uh, Soul Blade plus Dancer Charm will do that, yeah. We'll try it out immediately. Um, what does these two things do? This increases Legion Arm attack. I honestly feel like this might be a good idea. I feel like I don't need more health. You can honestly never have enough health. Uh, let's pop some health. Do Antonia quest? Is there an NPC called Antonia? Where did I actually see the Soul Blade? Do I have the Soul Blade? This is the Kurt Sword. I think the Soul Blade is... Vish version of Rani. Malum <laughs> uh, like. She's the wheelchair lady? Ah, yeah, she is. Yeah, that's right. You have the Soul Blade? I have the Soul Blade. I need the... I need the... Forgot what its name is. I need a handle. There are soft caps here, Andre, but I don't know them, and I don't care enough to find out what they are. So I'm just kind of winging it. Already beaten the boss? Yeah, Mecha King. I played these games prof professionally. <laughs> I did see a couple of like uh, curved sword blade. This is what I was thinking about. Uh, Twitcher, what was the thing that you wanted me to do? Saw blade and what handle? I forgot, sorry. Dancer's blade plus handle, okay. That is a mo that is a dexterity weapon though, right? If I go dancer's saw blade. He just attacked Rani just before the wedding. <laughs> oh my god. What did you miss? You missed a pretty cool boss fight. So we go assemble new weapon. We want... Uh, saw blade. Wait, do we want a handle or do we want... Is this what you want? Did I make it? I did not make it. I'm an idiot. Dancer's handle and saw blade. Okay, let's try it out. Uh, nope. Saw blade. Nope, nope. God damn it, Toto. And dancer handle. Weapon assembled. Yep. This is a technique weapon. Yeah, we're not going to be using this. This is a filthy dex weapon. Finn Binley, what's up? Uh, I was thinking about lies of it definitely the saw blade definitely looks cool. Yeah Oh, that's a cool moveset. Whoa, I like that. I, I I Gotta do a dexterity playthrough of this game. There are basically only two like melee dealing stats And it seems dexterity has a lot more like insane versatility versatility Currently we are doing a I don't want to respect. I don't want to I like my strength build, but These weapons are also pretty cool. What is the weapon art? I will stick to my exploding pickaxe, guys. Exploding pickaxe pog. Mage? There are no mages here, Sharma. There is no magic in this game. That's why this game, that's why this game is gonna be hated for being too hard, trust me. It's very similar to both, K, but it seems to be a lot more harder, like, overall. Seems to be a lot more harder. Bosses are much more complicated. But it seems strength is supreme. Strength builds are broken at the end of the day. That, that is the one thing that Elder Ring has taught me very well. If you can stagger an enemy, you should. <laughs> that is one thing that I definitely learned. Why is this guy gone? Uh, there is something I want to tell you. Geppetto's puppet, please come to the hotel garden on the way to... I didn't read it to the end. Hotel garden where? Uh... Newspaper, books, pictures, letters, notes. Aha, uh -huh. please come to the Hotel Garden on the way to Elysio's Boulevard. Hotel Garden, Elysio's Boulevard, where is that? I don't remember. Best advice, yeah, it literally is best advice. If you can stagger an enemy, wait, I already forgot where I need to go. Ah, Elysio Boulevard entrance, right? Garden near Elysio's Boulevard. Let's go over here. 
It's hotel found something there, yeah. Uh, from the hotel, okay, okay. We can teleport. The stair in the hotel, okay. I love how everybody is telling outside the hotel, stair in the hotel. What, who do I believe? Guys, do you re do you really think that I remember where the fucking fountain is? Uh, have you not realized that I'm literally Rororoa Zoro? The only difference between and Rororoa Zoro is that he has a little bit of bigger biceps and green hair. Everything else is the same. So we go from here, boys, right? Inside the house of Elysio Boulevard. Uh, okay, do you mean Hotel Krat, guys? Oh, yeah, Hotel Krat is connected to this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have said Hotel Krat. Guys, when you say hotel, I mean, I, I always think of a totally other hotel. I completely forgot that this hub area is connected to the main world. Zoro doesn't have a cool accent? He does. How? I mean, he doesn't have an accent, but he has a cool voice. Here, guys? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Why did I go the complete Welcome wrong direction? To confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. I adore Lady Antonia. So, fantastic. We have a horny puppet, guys. Feeling. I have no That's the last thing that I want from this game. Of course. However, I cannot watch her. Thus, I need your unique perspective. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? There is no such puppet. Show the wedding ring. Show the wedding ring. <laughs> it exists. He's a simp. <laughs> There's always one. And there is always at least one simp in these sure. games. With a wedding ring as its symbol, I fear he has a very weird simp fetish. Such a splendid happiness. G Andre, the, the no simps are ever present. Her, like they have been here beyond the existence be of time. So like the first thing in this if universe was not like hot plasma at the this beginning of time. Better, they were know? simps, and the simps were colliding Even together with like a, a bunch of different speeds, and they, they created the Big Bang and so on and so forth. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Gemini's iron protection. Nice. I only sim for males, nothing wrong no with that, my friend. Us, uh, do you sell more shite now? You're not maidenless? Uh, unfortunately, we are humanless, so maidenless is our least concern here. There is also the guy that can give me a, like, a cool weapon, right? Let's go check him out as well. Is she dead? Is she alive? What's happening? Sims are time and space. <laughs> Uh, the general theory of simps. Not the relativity, it's simps. Queen Elizabeth was before the Big Bang as well? Why Queen Elizabeth? What the fuck? Grayscale? What is happening? But you, when you reach a certain age, it's a comfort to reflect on old memories. <laughs> I was so... Oh, I just realized she's staring at a picture so of herself. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, Granny? I loved the world, and the world loved me back. The passion of those days is long gone, but I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. I still have <laughs> I, I mean, of course. <laughs> You're not completely ugly, I don't know. <laughs> Those beautiful Pass. <laughs> still vivid in my mind. I, I love how the game casually asked me smash or pass, literally. Oh, Christ. I'm cursed. I hope you're making some good memories. The ergo is whispering. Uh, the fuck? Why is everything cryptic in these games? People have no idea. Thanks for I see Guys, is there any lore videos of this game? Yeah, we need to check the boss weapons. Are there any lore videos A of this game? Weapon. Bird White King's Ergo. Uh, Puppet Ripper. This sounds like something out of London, straight up. 
Origin ability tier plus one, Trident of the Covenant. Pro the problem is here, everything is a goddamn filthy dex weapon, guys. There are many lord videos. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ergo is dirty talking. <laughs> How can I unplug the, the, the grandma, guys? Okay, let, let's just do more progress, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I can try out the Puppet Tripper, it's probably not a bad idea, but I suspect it's like Dex weapon, right? I mean, I see the Puppet Tripper in action, what is this? That book reminds me, have you ever heard the fairy? All of Krat knows this so bad, but this is who it is. Hmm, interesting. Not really interesting, like, like, I tried a bunch of weapons already, like, most of them are pretty cool. Lies of Poop, that's a good joke. Let's go over here. Any mod? What do you mean, Kay? Mm, it's a bit of both. Yeah, it, I, it does have scaling in both, like, motivity. But as soon as I see B in dexterity, I immediately give up. I do like to optimize the builds. I do like to optimize the builds. The pickaxe is pretty cool. I can't really go wrong with it, honestly. Darian, thanks for watching, man. Lies of piss. Uh, Dad, what are you doing here? I'm glad you're safe. I was so you want an option for gambling? Uh, I could return something it's next time, Kay, but currently I can't do it for you. Out here. I'll figure out something about Fortunately, gambling. Like, you didn't need I'll probably help. need a couple more mods I'm to so chat for because people just love gambling for no reason. The king. Hopefully the lesser puppets will die down soon. Now that lesser puppets, dead, fantastic. Puppet discrimination. Puppets have no leader, no direction. But the curse of the petrification disease still. is tough. But I know where you should. As a man of invention, I'm skeptical of the alchemist. Won't you help me? If it will help Antonia and the others. Oh, nice! We have more pull cells. That's pretty good. So we can only have eight One. pull cells. This oh, game is very stingy, man. This game is extremely stingy. Like, you could usually have like 15. You have 15 Estus flasks in Dark Souls, you have only eight in this game. That is very, very stingy. There is no... They really wanted to make this game as horribly difficult as they could, didn't they? Are you alive? You can get 12? How? That's a nice song. Get wrecked. I think I'm gonna stick with the pickaxe. The pickaxe is pretty poor, guys. But I, I suspect you're gonna have a lot of problems with the pickaxe when we encounter, like, fast-moving enemies. Uh, the pickaxe is really not good against fast-moving enemies. But against bigger foes, definitely it is. The fuck is this? A saw blade hound? I always think that... I always think that these games will never, never surprise me with enemy designs, but... Here we go again. I really did not expect a goddamn dog with a saw blade, as I said. At least Balkan streamer gamble. Who's singing the song? It's coming from over here. From this house, it's coming. Probably somebody's over in, in there. Uh, Gemini's emergency protection. All upcoming mini bosses are quite fast. Yeah, I know. I, I did watch a couple of no hit runs, Twitcher. What's going on? Of this game. Victor, what's up in the day? This song is really good, I like that it. Seems weird. That's weird, right? Why is it weird that puppets are depressed? I'll just put them out of their misery. It's an Iggy moment? Nah. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna download this song. This song is really, really nice. I like harmonica songs. They sometimes, like, when people know how to play the harmonica really well, then... Then the... You can really make some very cool songs. So was the king controlling the puppets and then now they're just completely dysfunctional? I guess that's cool. But it's probably going to be a lie because there is going to pop up another king, isn't there? I swear to Christ we're gonna go to like... We're gonna get a little bit further into the game and we're gonna get Uno Reverse card. And uh, 
somebody was like how do I say it? Somebody was like controlling the entire fiasco from the start and it was making us kill all of those enemies so they can like re-grab the control of the puppets that they wanted to grab but they couldn't because the king of the puppets was alive or something like that. It's gonna be an Uno reverse situation 100%. Very few gang squads. I don't trust this place. It's a massive drama and comedy fest. I'll actually... I'll, 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 one, after I beat the game, I'm definitely gonna check out the lore. It seems very interesting. It doesn't... It doesn't hook me, like, super hard like Dark Souls did, but... There seems to be some, like... Thing that can be very much enjoyed in this. Lore-wise. Uh, BJ, what's up? Also, my head hurts today so much, my god. The weather has been changing in Croatia from, like, clock sword blade. Cock sword? Nice. We have a cock sword, guys. Fantastic. Gideon would... <laughs> uh, uh, Gideon probably runs the channel, Ajax. Stay hydrated. It's not hydration problem. Uh, in, my fam in my family runs, like, basically something called... I don't know how to say it in English. But basically, we are very, like, uh, sensitive to weather changes. Like, every time it starts raining, like, suddenly, and, like, switches from, like, very cold to very hot. We all, like, completely dysfunction. I like how everybody is saying that every weapon is the best thing ever. We'll try it out later. Why oh, do you have so much HP? What is this? Get track. If the pickaxe didn't require that much, stamina it would be a lot better of a weapon. But I guess it would be also broken at that point. We might change the... Hmm, we'll see. I might combine the handle of the pickaxe with something else. Because we are just lacking range, right? So if you add a long blade on the end of the pickaxe, can we add the... So oh, well, I need to test out later on what we can do. Yeah, April is horrible, Twitcher. I also have allergies. I also have allergies when spring comes, so April is absolutely horrible. Uh, the fall is fine, winter and summer are cool, but spring is a shit show, unfortunately. Ah, yeah, saw blade dogs, fantastic. Oh shit. Okay, track. What is Zaza? Zaza basically refers to V. I don't know what else could it be referring to. Long range boom weapon? Mm, we'll figure something out, yeah. We'll figure something out. Uh, nothing interesting here. I tried the first Lords of the Fo Fallen Sinus, but it's really not that good. I really don't like it. Uh, we can't go through here. Some people, by the way, some people get really offended when I don't when I say I don't like some game. And I, I really don't know why people get offended. It's just my opinion. Just, just wanted to mention that because some people get super offended, man. Is it like a Soulsborne game? Yeah, this one is this one very much is. Uh Andre, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh shit. More grandmas are coming out of the windows. Have some decay. Change the electric thing to fire. Uh, I mean, we don't really need to right now. We already have fire because of the exploding pickaxe. Exploding pickaxe! That's a cool fable art, though. That's a very, very cool fable art. Vivid Ergo. What is this? It's a tea room. That's a shortcut. I like how many shortcuts are in this game, by the way. There are so many goddamn shortcuts. It really reminds me of Bloodborne. Like, that, that thing definitely reminds me of Bloodborne. The placement and the frequency of shortcuts in this game. Will I go to Bingo Brawlers? No. Most certainly not. I don't have the uh, desire to basically train bingo runs over and over until I get good at them. If they make 
if they make a fully randomized bingo board that cannot be trained, then I would definitely want to do some bingo matches. But for right now, I'm not really that interested. Oh, I'm gonna break my weapon. I forgot to sharpen it. I forgot to sharpen the weapon. It's not the first time. Adi, I played the game before like, like 10 hours. For like 10, 10 hours, but uh, I haven't played in a long time. You need... Wait. Lorenzini Arcade First Floor Key. Okay. More keys are needed. What's the objective of this game? To kill all the puppets, I guess? To be fair, I don't know. Like, that's like asking somebody who never played Dark Souls, what is the objective of Dark Souls? Like, I don't know. I just kill stuff. I literally just learn movesets and kill stuff. Like every other Souls game. Ayama, thanks for the following, I appreciate it. Wait, but from what direction did I come from? Do I go in this direction? Ah, uh, Yama, thanks for the compliment, thank you. Glad you enjoyed the content. <laughs> Are there more grandmas coming? Nope, that's one of these guys. I do remember this guy, this guy was a... Annoyance, to say the least. Oh, oh. Why can't I go past you? Come on, the tracking is also bad in this weapon. The damage don't makes up for it. Uh, don't kill me. Stamina. Yeah, I should have changed to fire here. These guys are weak to fire. One more. Pickaxe OP. I don't know what else to tell you guys. What can Dao... What do you mean, BJ? I'm hearing some weird sounds over here that I don't like. That's the key. I was expecting that. Ach, the rare Toto moans. What do you mean, Friedress? Actually, I don't think they're that rare. To be completely fair with you. Eldritch Abominations. There, is, there, there was one boss fight that can really... Described as an Eldritch Abomination with that, I agree. I think that from now on we're just gonna get like very nimble NPC-like boss fights. Yeah, we need fire in this place. Yep. We need... Oh, sh Oh my god, I'm getting impaled. Oh no, daddy. Stop it. Stop it. He dies in one hit. Nice. Pickaxe OP. Uh, can we get over there? Probably not. Toto, what? What do you mean? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Hit the wall for safety. Die. Uh, birth imagery. Birth imagery. I don't like it. Die, die, die. Ah, uh, splashing sounds. God damn it. Oi, oi, oi. Would you understand if I say something wrong because my English is so bad? Probably... I would. I understand pretty much anything, Sinus. Even if you... Okay, he's throwing dunk pies. Or she is throwing dunk pies. Charge attack! Sebas, what's up on today? I don't trust that. that. That is a very ominous looking puppet over there. This game is not been really scary for me, but it does have some creepy areas. That is blood for sure. <laughs> Hitting the wall for safety only because I always check for like uh, invisible doors, right? Let's go to the scary puppet. I feel like if you go upwards, it could be less scary than going downwards. Kill the puppet. Dead. Legion magazine, nice. Oh no. That's the butterfly. We gotta kill the butterfly, boys. Shit. Come here, butterfly. Fuck. Die, butterfly, die. There you go. Half moonstone, perfect. That's upgrade materials, basically. They're basically crystal lizards from Dark Souls, by the way. Or scarabs. The 
done with my first year of college. Nice. Hopefully it went well. The first year of college, in my opinion, is the most tough one and the second one. The rest is pretty easy. The first one and the second one, though, tr tend to kick your ass. Stop, 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 stop. The fuck? How am I beating boss fights and then getting absolutely destroyed by single enemies? You need to stop, my friend. Stop it. Oh, where is the poison in this game? Die. Bro, some of these boss fights, like, some of these enemies are harder than some boss fights, guys. Yeah, it definitely so low. There, there is no poison in this game, and then you can you can get stun locked very easily, very very easily, which can be a little bit annoying. Uh, sharpen. Second semester was a little bit worse. Prepare yourself for the second year, Sebas. It can get a little bit rough, at least in my opinion. I need fire for this place. God damn it. Oh, let's just evade all the enemies for now. I'll come back here with a... Wait, this is wine. This is not blood. Interesting. The puppets are also anonym alcoholics, apparently. Interesting. We need to kill these big enemies because they usually drop upgrade materials, which is very good. Uh... This is definitely a gate that needs to be opened. Where is the key or... Mechanic. Yeah, these guys are very tough, but with fire they are much more manageable. Go to the pool, brother. What pool? Shite. Where is the lever, Miyazaki? Huh? Don't tell me that big boss has the key. Let's go grab fire then. I'll go back, level up my vigor, and let's grab fire. I need a grindstone for fire to kill these guys properly because it makes them much easier. If you roll, you drink. <laughs> that could be very interesting, yeah. Let's go back to the Stargazer. Missed everything out to reach the second phase of the Puppet Master? Yes, you did, Bert. I killed the Puppet Master very, very fast. Alright, let's... Uh, I want to buy some more consumables, actually. Let's go Melon District. Don't want to really level up here. I'll level up after bosses. I'll buy consumables with, like, normal amount of Echoes or whatever this is. Ergo. No, Miyazaki did not make this game, BJ. But every time I play a game, Miyazaki literally is always on my lips. Every time something goes wrong in any game, even if it's a strategy game, even if it's completely unrelated to Souls games, I always blame Miyazaki. That guy has basically corrupted my brain in that in that in that aspect. This is my first playthrough, Ken. Yeah, haven't beat the game yet. The boss is All right, uh, let's grab more. Wait, I didn't actually buy this. Electric? Ah, this is the abrasive. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is acid abrasive. This could actually come in handy, right? Let's buy some acid abrasives. Up to 13. Let's buy five acid abrasives. And let's get ourselves more canisters. Uh, I like it really a, a lot, Ken. Uh, I like the game a lot. It is very unique. That's what I really like about it. It's not a ripoff of Souls games. And we also need to change Grindstone. Dark Lord Miyazaki. True. Next video, by the way, guys, is going to be the All Remembrance speedrun. Just so you know. And then after that, I'll probably release more of a, like, a scripted video. I haven't actually written a long-form script in a while. I really need to do that again to practice more of it. I'm more, I, last videos were more like more live commentary type, type of stuff editing. I practiced that enough. Now I need to try writing long-form scripts again, which is a lot more harder. Yeah, the poking stick, right, yeah. The poking stick. The glorious poking stick of doom. That was a nice stream. Very good run as well. 
Uh, this direction, right? It just keeps reducing. I really... Uh, nobody likes that, can trust me. Like, being punished from for not getting the Ergo fast enough is dumb. But thankfully, Ergo doesn't really matter in these games. Like... Oh, fuck, I'm getting decayed. Fantastic. Thankfully, Ergo does not really matter in these games. Can I quit out here? Abuse... No, not close the entire killing. Let's reduce enemy aggression first. I'm gonna abuse quit outs in this game as well. I don't care. <laughs> Favorite subject in what, BJ? You mean in school? It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Shu. Or Axel. Or however you pronounce your name, but happy birthday, my friend. Hope you have a great birthday. I oh, don't know why you're attacking me. No, no, no. No, wrong buttons. Uh, favorite subject in school was physics and then math. By far. Stagger, bitch. I need my pickaxe attack. Don't do it. God damn it, negative range. Bro, this weapon literally is like a fist weapon in Souls games. Oh, shit. Actually, no. Even fist weapons in Souls games have more range than this weapon does. A literally negative range. Okay, Lada. What the fuck is that shit? Okay. The, the, the door immediately pops open when I kill him. Nice. What was your best subject in school? Still physics and math. I really am a math and physics type of guy. I don't like basically any other subject. Uh, ooh, ooh. Shortcut. You need arcade underground passage key. Okay, finally we're gotten to a place where keys are more than needed. Lada is a car name? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Gemini iron protection. Very nice. Another shortcut. What the fuck? How many shortcuts are in this place? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I, I don't like that at all. Can I get a shortcut, please, Miyazaki? No. I can just get electrocuted, apparently. Uh, oh. I don't like that at all. Nope. Double of these enemies. Nope. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Bye bye. See you later. Where is the shortcut, Miyazaki? I know it's somewhere over here. I know it's somewhere over here. It has to be. Another one. Okay, finally. Finally a shortcut. Open the gates, please. Yeah, finally. Okay, perfect. Now we can fight those guys. Uh, there is no character customization here. No, this, this is not a pure RPG game, K. The only customization you get is basically from the weapons you choose. It's more of an action game, really. Like, this game is really, really more of an action game than it's an RPG. Uh, uh. Few citizens of Chad do not know the V. There is a character named V in this game. What is this V for Vendetta? Where do we go? I played a lot with the weapon manipulation, yes, Ken. But usually how I play this is currently I find a weapon that I like, I upgrade and I use it. Like I've used like five different weapons up until now. Don't worry, Apostolus, Iggy is great. He will return on Monday. Hey, by the way, that, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I figured out how to kill Placidus X fast. It is the dumbest thing because I completely forgot we can do that. Like the best way to kill Placidus X is literally using pest threads. That is the 100% best way to kill Placidus X. It kills him so fast, it's insane. And the uh, pest... Circular electric chainsaw handle, what? Am I reading this right? Circular electric chainsaw handle. We are buying this immediately. Saw the video? Yeah. Pest threads are... Broken. 
Very, very broken. Pizza cutter? Maybe. Maybe pizza cutter. What is this? Increase the resistance of the disruption shock break. This is actually pretty good. But we don't need it. That is a fuckload. That is a fuck ton of weapons in this game, by the way, guys. I've encountered so many weapons in this game. It's insane. Uh, is this just a loop back shortcut? Uh, no, uh, you don't need Faith Scaling Sharma for Pest Threads. The Faith Scaling for Pest Threads is like 10 points. Or 11, something like that. Very low, very low. But we still have the Arcane Scaling, like, uh, Talisman, the Dragon Communion one. So we can basically make Pest Threads as powerful as they can be. And then we can destroy Placidus X very easily. That is the 100% best way to kill him. I feel like we need to do an incantation only all remembrances in Okitran. Just because incantations are so goddamn busted in that game. I know I need to go downstairs, don't worry. But I'm checking out the side areas as well. There is an item I missed actually, I need to pick it up. Right. There is an item over here. <laughs> no, that is not a good video, BJ. <laughs> Baby Durgo, bye bye. But pest threads seem to be the best way to deal with high, like, very big enemies, like Fire Giant, Placidus Axe, and Elden Beast. Uh, so we are definitely in that run gonna nut on the Elden Beast and the Placidus Axe. Seems to be the way to go. Can you jump? Yep, you can jump. You can have, do like a little hop. Hop. The jump is very useless though. I haven't found useless for the jump yet. Uh, how am I lost again? Coming on big enemies is good. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. How am I lost again? Aha, here. More than Mesmer? Yeah, the line boss thing definitely looks very cool. But Mesmer also looks very cool, guys. This is still close, right? You can't go here, right? You need Arcade Underground Passage Key. Ah, you used Arcade Underground Passage Key. When did I pick up that key? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Sebas, usually DLCs from, from, for, from software games are not to be concerned about. They usually do a fantastic job on... The DLCs tend to be much better than the ba base game. Like, overall, I think nobody would actually disagree with that statement. I feel like... Yeah, every DLC they made is literally better than the base game. The Dark Souls 1 DLC is better than Dark Souls 1. The Dark Souls 2 DLCs are better than Dark Souls 2. The Dark Souls 3 DLCs are better than Dark Souls 3. Everything. Bloodborne DLCs are better than the base game. Like, every every DLC is just... Oh my god! Every DLC is just better. Did you see the sixth sense here, guys? That was insane. That was absolute sixth sense right now. Uh... Yeah, I also kind of weirded out that we didn't get a Sekiro DLC. That game deserves a DLC, or a sequel, honestly. I can definitely see a Chinese version of Sekiro. After the dragon's homecoming. I could definitely see that. The DLC will definitely expand the lore, Roger, yeah. The DLC seems to be finishing up like, uh, Mikola's... Uh, Mikola's, like, questline. Or, like, story. Maybe wrapping up the Eldering story as well. Wait, wait, this is the next location, right? I think City is better than base. <laughs> Millwood Knights in Ashes of Arianda, yeah, you have a good point there. That would have been disastrous. Ah, oh, Christ, too many shortcuts, guys. I don't think you're gonna get a Godwin fight, guys, though. Pretty sure we already seen everything that's left of Godwin. And we know we're not going into another universe or another or back in time or something like that. So I think Godwin is not going to even be present. I don't see a reason for Godwin to be present in the DLC.
<laughs> Nobody lose. You guys are all huffing on a large amount of copium, I think. But we'll see. Maybe I'm going to be completely wrong. And then you can laugh in my face. Uh, uh, sharpen. That is the wrong button, Toto. I want to sharpen, not to put flame on it, but whatever. Why are there vine cellars over here everywhere? What is this place? Oh my god! I did not expect that! The fuck is this guy doing? That is the longest winding up attack that I've ever seen, man. That's like Elden Ring, like... I'm dead. Almost dead. Time for Getsuga... Oh my god, yes, Getsuga Tensho itself! Shit, 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 this guy is insane. Getsuga Tensho! Smack! Smack! Never stop the smack. The pain train is incoming. Get right, bitch. There you go. Staggers are broken. It's, it's really amazing. I feel like they need to remove staggers from the next Souls game, guys, honestly. Staggers, staggers seem to be breaking these games. You just need to stagger enemies. You don't need to do anything else. Let the monsters kill them. The monsters are too slow. And not reliant. He drank too much. Uh, have you watched yesterday's conference league? What do you mean, Apostolis? What conference league? By the way, the Bingo Brawler's like finale is gonna come up very soon. What the fuck? Wine? Okay, we have wine. Fantastic. Of course, there's always about to be somebody popping out of a goddamn barrel. Oh, great! hell is that? Okay, that is the backwards path. So we just go over here, right? Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Calling any and all nice. stargazers in the vicinity. Please respond. Call stargazers are phones? What? He heard the drinks were on the house. <laughs> that joke is very bad. <laughs> But uh, I'll accept it. I accept the joke. Ah, you can give the old lady vine. Interesting. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I don't usually follow, like, quest lines in these games. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I usually figure out the quest lines after I beat the game. I'm mostly just interested for the gameplay. And the atmosphere. Those are my two favorite things in these games. But I do tend to, like, learn up on the lore after the game. The, uh, by the way, I just have to mention, the uh, the game looks stunning. Like, whoever designed, whoever was the artistic artistic, uh, artistic leader on the team did a fantastic job. The grand exhibition theme was automatic puppets and city of the future. The plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Croft. But, you know the rest. Grand Exhibition Plaza, rainy days. Not autistic, <laughs> artistic. God damn it! It's just an empty plaza. Why is that low texture? Okay, <laughs> pop back in. More of those police baton enemies. Nice. Bioshock Infinite 100%. Like, the, the inspiration is blatant. Shortcut? Bro, I feel like every two steps I find another shortcut. Uh, you watch however you like, DJ, honestly. That's why I do it on both platforms. If you didn't have the goddamn Soul Blade Dog, you would already be dead. But the Soul Blade Dog is powerful beyond belief. Oh my god! <laughs> Stay in one place. What is break, even? probably like bleed. That's what I'm guessing. You don't like the cricket in this game? What cricket, Mota? I don't remember seeing a cricket in this game. Another shortcut. Okay, so we have 10 shortcuts all next to one another. Fantastic.
Traveler is acting suspicious. Traveler is always like that. You have to get used to him, okay? He's harmless. As long as you don't insult DS2. Gotta get rid of the dog immediately. Oh, the negative range of this weapon is pissing me off. Like, I'm, you're gonna have to change weapons just because this weapon has zero range, guys. That's a nice sword you got there. Retreat, retreat. By the way, I'm really in the mood. Oh, I can break his sword? That's cool. That never happened before. Interesting. Liverpool out of Europa League? Ah, that league. Sorry, guys, I don't watch football. Stickman, thanks for the follow, man. What will happen if I insult DS2? <laughs> I just said it as a joke, okay? You guys are taking me way too seriously. You can break boss weapons in this game, Traveler? That's what you mean? I didn't actually encounter that mechanic, honestly, to be completely honest. I got the range. DS2 is a dog shit game. <laughs> DS2 is one of the best games, guys. What the fuck is... Is that a fucking Roman Legionnaire? What is this game? Oh, shit. This guy's electric shock. Ah, oh, fantastic spin. Spinning bullshit again. Nice. Oh. Uh... Up. Oh. Ah, oh, come on, man. I hate that it staggers you out of the special attack. That is very annoying. Because you save up for those attacks so often, and then it just breaks your poise and you don't get to use the attack, which is kind of sad. Got the post. Razor, thanks for the follow, man. It's the Roman bot, guys, yeah. Stop moving. Accept my charge attacks. Shall I just goon the boss fight? Fuck you. <laughs> we have a lot of consumables, we can use them, right? Oh my god, this boss fight. It's not a boss fight, it's actually an enemy die. Any thoughts on the upcoming other in DLC? Yes, it's gonna be awesome, Lucky. Don't worry. Don't worry, Stickman. I don't know why people are asking me about the Elden Ring DLC every time I don't play Elden Ring. That is actually very suspicious, guys. Like, every time I don't play Elden Ring, the entire chat is like billions of like what is the DLC gonna look like? It's kind. Of, I find it curious that that happens when I'm not playing Elden Ring. I guess just people like talking about Elden Ring. <laughs> that would be the only reason. How are the cats? They are great, Sebas. They've been sleeping the entire day. They haven't moved a muscle. Like my girlfriend went out of the house at like 7 a.m. in the morning. They haven't moved from that spot until like 4 p.m. They've been sleeping forever. Shitty is onto us. That's a train, right? Just make sure it's not the Austrian train. If you know what I mean. The next boss is the bane of my existence. That People said that for the previous boss as well. Sounds like something cats would do. True. Can't wait for the melee combat rework in Elden Ring. What melee combat rework? There is no melee combat rework. Not, not sure what you mean. They are my soulmates. Yeah, they're... On, uh, guys, honestly. Like, cats are the most relaxing thing in the world. And anytime I feel a little bit stressed out, I just go into the other room and see the cat sleeping. And then immediately everything is fine. You see them being chill for like life. And, uh, yeah, you, all your problems kind of, like, fade away. Another short. Nice. Oh, that's the cathedral, right? Or the train station or whatever. I just hate him. Fair enough. Uh, Calcina. Thanks for following. Appreciate it. Oh, puppets from the future? What? Why does he have the iron balls, guys? Wait, what? Guys, he has the iron balls. Oh my god. He's a stagger monster for sure. Sorry for the nickname. Is a Brazilian Nick. Don't worry, man. Why do, why do you apologize for your name? Like, 
It's completely non completely not necessary. Welcome to the chat. Oh shit. Favorite Oh my god, where did you come from? Favorite anime is Hunter x Hunter. My leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone, please. Currently that's my favorite anime, just because like the story was kinda perfect when when it got animated by uh Guys, I forgot. What, what was the studio that animated Hunter x Hunter? Madhouse? Was it Madhouse? Or was it Studio Bones? I don't remember. Hunter x Hunter mentioned. I feel like I need a Hunter x Hunter version of like an RPG. Because the power mechanic in that anime was straight up perfect. Like I need an RPG where I can do stuff like that. Like, that would be insane. That would be so good. For those of you who don't know, I actually don't even know how to explain it, but Hunter x Hunter has basically like something called the Nen system, which is basically their power system in that world. Uh, but they can basically make their own powers up, like, indefinitely. It's kind of like if you ever played the game Magicka, where you have like a set number of elements and you can combine them however you want. Like, an RPG like that would be fantastic, but uh, would be probably hard to create. It's a studio called Nippon. It's, in my opinion, it's the best power system, like, right? It's the best power system. Oh, uh, let's grab this item and then go back and level up. We have a few ergo to spare here. <laughs> it's too unique. It's not really unique. I don't, I don't agree that it's unique. Uh, it, it basically iterated upon previous power systems, or like previous shonen anime. But it's very well thought out. That, that is my... Why am I blue? I just realized. The sky outside is so blue. Blue light is constantly hitting my face, making me blue, it seems. Ah, the 2011 is Madhouse, okay. Yeah, that sounded a little bit strange. Uh, do we give you wine? Thanks for... We don't give you wine. Who do we give wine to? Uh, Avatar is not considered an anime because it's not a uh, Japanese made, but it, it's a cartoon. An anime is a an, anime means Japanese cartoon, if I remember that correctly. So Avatar is a cartoon, like every other anime. What? What did I click? This this serves me right for talking while the fucking game is playing its storyline. Where is my uh, donkey mask? Changing. If this is what you want, you might just hold. The okay, so uh, I'm, I think I re I think I realize what we are gonna end up in the with the ending of this game. We are either going to become a puppet or a human, right? It's like fucking Tolkien wrote this goddamn game. <laughs> I either become an elf or a goddamn human. Uh, let's level up one more time. We can actually pop. This perfect. I'll use he catch the plot. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be completely wrong though. Uh, I think I level up vitality to plus 25. Our health bar is pretty beefy already. I don't think we need more health. I'll level it up to plus 25 because of OCD, and then we're gonna be fine. Do I have any more uh, quartz? Quartz, quartz, quartz. I don't, unfortunately. Mm, let's just go back to exploring then. We leveled up enough. Puppet's King weapon. I'm not using the Puppet King's weapon because I'm not using a dexterity build. Because I'm not a filthy casual. <laughs> Reject humanity, become donkey. Donkeys are the most useful animals, guys. Honestly. They are so goddamn useful, it's insane. <laughs> Oh, guys, that's what I, would, I I've been actually wanting to tell you this story, guys, uh, because I'm currently playing Dragon's Dogma. Um, and, and I'm going to explain to you why I really like Dragon's Dogma. That's what I wanted to tell you. Uh, I've been... You will get taken down? You will not get taken down. Okay, calm down. I wanted to explain you why I really like Dragon's Dogma. So what happened to me a couple of days ago when I was playing the game... 
uh, I've been using an ice sword for like a majority of time right now, which basically freezes enemies. And what happened is that I was fighting some goblins on a cliff. A goddamn griffin descended from the sky. Uh, I jumped on his back. He started flying away into another dimension, so basically completely far away from my party, and above sea. But because I had an ice sword, I froze that motherfucker in mid there, and he fell into the sea. He dies because he doesn't have respawn plot armor, but he fell into the sea, died because I froze him in mid there, and I respawned all the way back at my party. It was the best thing ever. I'm actually really, really sad I didn't record it. It was so goddamn glorious. It was so glad and glorious. It, it, it was basically a plot armor situation. I basically stood upon it and said, I'm the main character, and you're gonna fall in the sea and I'm not... Or you're gonna die in the sea and I'm not gonna die. Like, Dragon's Dogma, when those moments happen like that, Dragon's Dogma is the best game ever, man. I'm so sad I didn't record it. It was so glorious. Crescent Moonstone. Schmack. I could have made a clip, yeah, but I forgot. I was so flabbergasted, but... Oh my god. Pain train. Pain train. I was so flabbergasted at that moment, I completely forgot, honestly. I should really start recording everything that I play, honestly. Moments like those happen way too often. Can you please die? Stagger. It's really not like Sekiro, Sapo. It really is not like Sekiro. Sekiro has a much more... Sekiro is much more based on parrying. In this game, parrying seems to be 100 times harder. Like, the parry window in this game is very small. Like, you need to be on point to parry. There is no standing in front of an enemy and spamming block. Like, that's not gonna work here. Whereas in Sekiro, you could actually do that. Ah, I get it, bro. The sound design is really good, though. It's fantastic. The way the weapon clangs when they break, it's great. Ah, uh, yes, the bomb turrets. Now we need to bait out their attacks, right? How do we deal with these guys? These guys are hell. Oh, shit. Do you need to reload? You do. Aha. Oh, my God. He has another attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is there a... Oh, this is definitely Dark Souls 2, guys. I feel like this game took way too much inspiration from Dark Souls 2. There is a double shield enemy. No deflect mechanic. Uh, there is a parry mechanic, Roger, in this game, which is this, basically. It's a time block mechanic. Same as Sekiro, but it's much more harder to execute in this game. I recommend, honestly, dodging every attack. Stop it. Stop it. I'm just gonna run. Nothing is telling me that I need to fight these enemies. It's not just DS3, it's also DS2. Shortcut? No shortcut. Uh, what is this place? Ah, butterfly. I really don't like that I need to kill butterflies in this game, but... Or schmetterlings. There is a ladder there, and there is a ladder over here. Where does this lead? Is this... Ah, that's a shortcut. Nice. Late game makes you switch? Probably. Probably, Kenneth, yeah. That's what I've seen from people doing no-hit runs. Uh, they kind of like... I mean, people doing no-hit runs mostly just parry anything. Because they're fucking no-hit runners. Am I German? Nope. I just know a little bit of German. Schmetterling, or Krankenhaus, or Krankenwagen, or Krankenschwester. Everything with Kranken is great in German. It's absolutely great. What is that weapon? It looks like an electric axe. Einhörnchen. Yeah, Einhörnchen is also pretty nice. I kind of don't want to die over here right now. Let's go back. I'm not German, I'm Croatian. Sapo. It's electric axe, yeah. Anything electric is very nice. Let's go over here. There is a weapon coming, I sell you for the, that makes parrying way easier and way more deadly for enemies. 
Uh, don't worry, I already figured out how to play this game perfectly, Twitcher. Like, staggering enemies is broken. Like, just stagger everything and everything dies. This is actually just perfect. Oh, this is actually DS1. Traveler, you're completely right. I hate that you're right, honestly. <laughs> oh, this is even worse. Sapo, thanks for the Twitch Prime, appreciate it. Oh, shit. Oh, this is definitely an anal road, yo. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Where is a fucking bow when you need it? This is why Dark Souls is an easy game, and this is not- Oh god. Please hit him. Die. Just die. I will not deal with these two of these enemies at once. Yeah, this is an evil audio for sure. Stop it! Fuck you. Uh, if you finish DSR, Kuro, definitely play DS2. Even though Fried or Ice in the chat is gonna say no. Darth Rose, what's up? You're kinda late, but today is more of a chill stream. Wait, what? There was a ladder here? Who designed these levels? But what are the monsters <gasps> doing here? Guys, we found wife. We found wife. D don't don't come any closer. Belle. You're not Those one. grand exhibition jerks are not to be messed with. Grand exhibition jerks. Especially after they took Then there are those biological experiments. I can't reveal everything, but suffice it to say that I can escape on my own if you clear the way of it. <laughs> yeah, Fred is not going to like DS2, but I do recommend but DS2 if you like DSR. If you like Dark Souls 1, you're definitely going to like DS2. Please, wipe out all those... It'll be easier to breathe once that horrid... Seems assembled. Taken out. Once you're done, I'll see you at the hotel. Please, why not be easier to... Okay, wife, we'll do as you say. Wait. Does she want me to kill these downstairs bastards or upstairs bastards? Way too many bastards. My wife is Sophia. I like more blondes, I'm not gonna lie to you. Blondes are perfect. It's like the scene from... Uh, it's like the scene from Total Recall. What have you been feeding this thing? Blondes. When they ask Arnold Schwarzenegger. How do I get past here? <laughs> oh fuck, this is a disaster. Can I make you fall off? This AI is a little bit smart, yep. Yeah. Uh, don't tell me chat how to... Oh shit. How to evade this guy. I'll figure it out. At the end of the day, AI might be artificial, but it's definitely not intelligent. Let's go. Juked. Die, bitch. Now you take care of that guy. These shield guys are going to be a little bit of a problem if I encounter them more in these areas. That is definitely evil enemy placement. My wife is a boss later in the game. That is a very bad wife. Bro, there's so many ladders here, I'll fucking go insane. That's a shortcut for sure. Of course. Yeah, there are no shields in this game. Um, shields that we can use, unfortunately. Uh, how does this lead back to this place? Level design is confusing, man. It's good, but it's very confusing. Very intricate. Champion Victor returns. <laughs> I already killed you. I don't need to deal with you again. That seems to be another shortcut. How many of them are here? Uh, we can't break the gates, right? This place seems like a labyrinth, yeah. But in a good way, I can tell the difference between areas at least. Vampire, what's happening today? Oh my god. Of course. Of course, it's a fucking gangbang. What did I expect? I'm. It's a double gangbang. Oh my god. No. It's a five man gangbang. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's no surviving this one. Okay, I did not expect that. That was the last thing I expected there. We already beat King of Pocket, uh, Puppies, Darth, yeah. 
All right. Five man gangbang. Nice. Janesh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. How is the game? Very sexy. The game is very sexy. What is this game? Oh, what is this game? What is this door? Also, dog, welcome back. Ah, that's the shortcut to this place. Nice. And then we also have the shortcut to that place over there. This place is definitely a labyrinth. Uh, so, we need a door there. There is a ladder over here which leads to God knows where. Ugh. Wait, now I need to remember where the hell do I need to go, guys. I have some idea where I... Or where do I need to go. I think we can use... Let's do it like this, because I actually have no idea what shortcut we unlocked. So let's do it like this. Here and then go to the right and we can climb up the stairs. Uh, wait a second. I'm stuck till next shift and charge comes in to save my ass. What? <laughs> what does that mean, Stain? You're stuck in next shift? Unfortunately, I can't help you with that, man. <clears throat> I actually have no idea what the break thing is, Sapo. I'm suspecting it's bleed. That's what I suspect. Makes you heal worse, really? That's dumb. That's, oh shit, I forgot this place. Anal rodeo! Oh, no. Bro, you either get bitch slapped or, <laughs> or these guys just electrocute your ass. Like, there is no winning here. Yeah, yeah there is no winning here. <laughs> Read my first name. Uh, yeah. Ah, I thought I read my first name, so it's easier to read the second name. The first name confuses me, honestly. The problem is this shortcut is not really a good shortcut. Let's find the main path that we're supposed to go through. I don't want to bolt the waifu, guys. I really don't want to. Let me do a little bit more memory refreshing here. I know you need to go up the stairs, but I don't know which stairs. Probably this one's right. These are the only stairs that I remember. And then there is a shield boy. And a lot of turrets. Shite crap. Crap baskets. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> yeah, this is a very good shortcut, Miyazaki, honestly. Very good shortcut. Uh, now we go up. Uh, Nick, what's up in there? Do we go up? I'm so confused. Oh, Christ. Oh, don't kill me. No negative range, please. Uh, what? Uh, okay, I'm lost, guys. I'm officially lost. Where do I need to go? How do I use Twitch? Uh, using Twitch is definitely a predicament sometimes. Miyazaki is always to blame. Always. Always blame Miyazaki. Ah, here, right. Perfect. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, last time I got gangbanged. So, let's try to kill this guy immediately. Double charge and he should stagger. Perfect. And then, where are his minions, though? Dead? I like how it closed the shortcut over here, because I didn't actually deal with the encounter. Mm. You little bastard. Where are your three stooges? Come on. Where is the chat in Twitch? What do you mean, Sharma? What do you mean, where is the chat in Twitch? <laughs> Get wrecked. Stagger is broken.
cry your face. What's up with I'm doing great. Hope you're doing fine. So. No. Stop. Stop attacking. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I feel like enemies in this place deal way too much damage. Thankfully, I did level up Vigor because I was a good boy. God help the people who play this game without leveling Vigor. They will get absolutely destroyed. This game is definitely Vigor required. Horrible amount of damage the enemies do. My role is medium role, I think, Sapo. The role is very short, like... They made the rolls super, super short, but uh, when you lock on, you do dashes. So it's actually much better then. Uh, the distance of the short, the distance of the roll is very short, which is good, in my opinion. Another fine day in the city of Krog, but I wonder, my friend, just where you've been? Oh. <laughs> Ever tried Armor Core 6? I've beaten it twice, Darth. I've beaten Armor Core 6 twice. A girl called you a pussy because you didn't want to spar with her. <laughs> oh, that is, that is definitely a situation, Cryo. Oh my god. That is 100% a situation. Uh, think about this. Whatever it takes. What cannot be used before it breaks? Egg, right? Okay, the Ergo is whispering. That is going to either come to bite me in the ass or give me a power-up, it seems. I don't know. I got the Trinitu key? What is the Trinitu key? Oh, shite. What the hell are you? Oh, he has a shotgun. Oh, oh nice. We have shotgun enemies. Come a little bit closer, please. There you go. Right into my pickaxe, bitch. These are experimenting vases, right? Like, people are being tortured here. That's what I'm guessing. She went for mental damage instead of physical? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but to be fair, it's very weird as a man to spar with a woman. That is very, very, very weird. In my opinion, it, 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 when I sparred with women, I sparred with, with, with a woman twice because... Oh shit, can't talk. I want to talk with chat, give me a second here. <laughs> I sparred with a woman twice in BJJ, which is even more horrible. Uh, because, how do I say it? Like, it just doesn't feel the same. It, it, it's just weird. In my opinion, it's just weird. You should read the paper you got? I will read it. Uh, let's see. To be fair, the woman kicked my ass, so my, th that might be why it was weird. <laughs> she was a lot better at, uh, than me at, at jiu-jitsu. Where is the paper, guys? Why can't I put it over here, right? Don't want to spoil the riddle. Uh, what was the paper, guys? What is it called? Does anybody know? Interact with the statue? Guys, you're telling me too many things and it really not doesn't... It's not really important. Fuck it! <laughs> Who gives a fuck? This is not an RPG. What is the shit? The point of this game is to beat up your enemies. Anything else doesn't matter. What is a sharp pipe, even?
If I missed something, I can always come back, guys. Like, it doesn't really matter. Why you have a head of a donkey? Because I can. If a game gives me the ability to wear a donkey's helmet, I will. You need stainless mercy key. Jesus, this place is insane. Is this the last game? Is, is, the, is this the final area of the game, guys? This is a boss fight, isn't it? Is this a boss fight? What is this? I don't remember I encountered this enemy before. Hmm. Oh, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nice. Oh, ghost, what's up? Bro, what is this goddamn enemy? <laughs> this is an enemy and a half. Oh, he's Mike Tyson. No, nope. he's Mike Tyson in disguise. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, he's literally Mike Tyson. What the fuck? And he has a dropkick. Yeah, an enemy with a dropkick is a massive issue, guys. Nice. Perfect stagger. Aim for his back. Is that a trick? Interesting. That doesn't work. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Nice. Dogs, thanks for, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. Brother, I'm beating everything first try. Either I'm good, or the game is too easy, or the strength build is just broken. Might be a combination of all three. He's a UFC fighter, kind of. Nice, short hit, perfect. This is why you always go with the strength build, guys. This is a shortcut to the main Stargazer, so now I know exactly where I am. Cool ass robot. Because I want you to gloat more, you are good. <laughs> it would be very weird if I wasn't, honestly. Like, I played these games quite a lot, right? It would be more of a shame if I actually wasn't good at these games. By the way, the hell is this? You get stuck in this place? This is interesting. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you ever saw a speedrun of this game. But there is also the zip glitch in this game. Like, just like in Elden Ring, there is a zip glitch in this game. And as you might expect, it's completely broken. It makes you bypass the entire game like, like this. Who's the boss? Elden Ring is the best game to get good at, in my opinion, Traveler, because it, the mechanics transfer to all of the other games very, very equally. Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster. What is the, what is the boss? Victor, the champion. <laughs> How is League of Legends back in this? Yo, what the f This is where evolution becomes real. He's actually Victor. <laughs> there is a champion in League of Legends called Victor. Brother Miyazaki might have influenced this game too much, Kenneth, but it's really... It's really a whole thing by itself. Oh, these guys are nimble. He has a punch attack. Oh my God. He's beating his chest. Okay, that damage is not good. That is not good damage. Yeah, that is not good damage. We have zero flasks, by the way. This guy seems like he only has one phase, right? From the damage I deal to him, it seems like he only has one phase. How did you... How did I miss? Serious question, Miyazaki. I'm done. My weapon is broken, I have no healing flasks, and Victor is a Chad. In League, is Victor right? What do you mean, is Victor right? Uh, Jaeger, what's up, Rinde? Welcome to the chat. Hmm... Can I upgrade my weapon more? Let me actually go back here for a second. I feel like we might need to prepare with some... This guy is not a puppet, by the way, right? Uh, increases damage inflicted on puppets. This guy is definitely not a puppet. Number of fape increases ergo acquisition with killing enemies. Technique plus four. Let's go with extreme modification. We can also get another crystal, right? He's human, I think, yeah. 
He doesn't seem like a puppet. Sap toto vam švarma? What's up švarma? Šarva... Šavarma? Šavarma? Some of your names guys are impossible for me to pronounce. By the way, when is Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul cryo? I don't, don't remember when the date is for that. Uh, but I think that's absolute shite, and that's what I think. Again, I would like for Mike Tyson to break his eye socket, that would make me happy, but... I don't know if that's gonna happen. The fight might be straight up rigged, because it's very weird. Uh, let's see, what do we add here? Enhances charge attack, stagger, perfect guard, destruction, enhance. Uh, enhance, perfect ambush, stagger. Enhances the stagger attack of dodge attacks and dash attacks. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Ah, I can't feel the same type. God damn it. Survival lower damage when discharged. July 20? Ugh. I don't know what to tell you about that fight. That fight is just dumb. <laughs> it's a man if it like how how old is Tyson? Like 56, 57? He should not be fighting. But he would definitely disagree with that statement. Natural recurs the ability of inactive weapons. This is actually quite useful because I forget to constantly. Where is weapon durability reduction? Stamina consumption for actions when pulse charge discharged. Reduces the stamina consumed by dash. Honestly, consuming less stamina is always a good idea, in my opinion. Let's go, ability. He's 58, yeah. That guy should not be fighting. Like, whoever is at his side should tell him to not fight, but whatever. He's probably just yoked up to the brim, so... Oh, did the king I'm glad. We'll see how it's going to turn out. I can't predict that. Jake Paul getting beat up. No, that's after. Wait. I'm now, again, confused. Is the Eldering DLC... No, Eldering DLC is June 20th, right? Not July. July is 7th month. So we're gonna get uh, Eldering DLC, and then we're hopefully gonna get Jacob beat up. Jake Paul beat up. Which definitely brings joy to my heart, but... Uh, I want to put the... Not the electric abrasive. I want to put the fire abrasive. I always I also want to do we have the fire abrasive? Want to see something over here. Switching Legion Arm probably is not the best idea. Can I upgrade my Legion Arm? Can't purchase any more. Craft Legion, modify Legion Arm. Jake Paul will fight Mike Tyson. When I miss the internet lore where? Yeah, Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson. I, you, I, you apparently are not very much on the internet, my friend. Should I make a new Legion Arm? I really like the Decay Legion Arm, not gonna lie to you, but the Fire Legion Arm seems to be also very useful. But I, it, it seems to me that I can apply Fire much more easier than Acid. So I'm gonna go grab Acid as a Legion Arm. I like to throw shit at people at the end of the day. Oh, this is cool. We need to get more Legion Calibers. Uh, people are telling me the shield is broken, but for right now I'm no, not in the need of broken weapons, so... Just gonna continue with what I like. If I do a challenge run, then I'll definitely, like, try to figure out the most broken shit. Uh, there are no headgear, Cryo. That's a lie. Uh, according to Tyson. Tyson said there is no headgear. But less rounds also go into favor with Tyson. Tyson is ancient. <laughs> I think, honestly, Jake Paul should go with longer, with more rounds. <laughs> If he wanted to have, have an edge in advantage. Alright. Let's go a couple of tries. I want to experiment with a little bit of weapon customization. Tyson also broke. Yeah, weed costs a lot of money, right? It's kind of easy to get broke. But I don't think Tyson is broke, though. He has, like, a bunch of successful podcasts. Even though I have no idea who actually listens to the podcast. A YouTube guy fought a boxing champion. Happens all the time currently. Which is kind of weird. Buff! 
Yeah, let's go, Victor. Come on. Open your eyes. Gaze upon the new world. This is definitely Frankenstein inspired. Uh, I can't do it. There. There's a triple attack there. Negative range. Bog. This weapon in negative range, it's insane. He doesn't have a follow-up to that attack, right? So he can just stagger. Oh, shite. Shite, shite. Shite, 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 shite. That's... I wanted to dodge through it, but I didn't manage to do it. Fantastic. Charge. This guy seems to have insane poise, by the way. I don't feel like I can stagger this guy easily. Oh, please get out of the way. Exploding pickaxe! And exploding pickaxe broken. Wait, grab the repost, please. Thank you. The fable attacks in this game are fantastic. I love them. That's I I I frames. Oh my god. Burn bitch. Oh but have some decay. Oh he has a triple attack there. So after he charges, he seems to have a triple attack always. At least from what I can tell. Have some more decay. Oh shit, he has a second phase. Of course he does. Well, they're gonna be here for a while. The majority of podcasts are just opinionated slop. Kind of, yeah. Not well made podcasts, big slap. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, we have Godfrey. Fantastic. We are fighting Victor Warrior. Literally, Horalu. Okay. Hit and run tactics. Might be pussy tactics, but... Warrior! Oh, shit. <laughs> He's definitely Warrior. Yeah, this weapon is not good against this guy. He's very resistant to it. Or do I need to level up my weapon even more? Shit, bad timing. I love how you don't get iframes when he hits you with that attack. It's kind of cool. How did I miss? How actually did that miss? Bro, he takes zero damage, man. That's crazy. I need to charge up my flame pickaxe so I can buff my weapon with fire. That is very important right now. Is his weak spot his back? Oh my god, his back is getting bigger. Is he getting bigger? What's happening? Yeah, the dodge timing is rough. This might stagger. I knew it. I'm getting the sixth sense, guys. Did he just did he just say Uno reverse no? He has a follow-up attack when staggered. What the fuck is happening? Bro just said I'm not gonna get staggered. Oh no, he's gonna miss. Fuck. I forgot he has iframes there. I forgot he has iframes there. Shite, shite. Very shite. It's a cool boss fight. Nice. Stagger. I should probably just try to get more attacks in right now. Can I goon this guy? Need to get my health back first. Oh, that. No! Come on! That's a cool boss fight, though. Okay, he, so he has a revenge attack when he gets staggered in second phase. Nice. Very nice. Will there be challenge runs for Lies of P? Uh, mod fire. I have a challenge run for Lies of P. Uh, beating Lies of P without using stamina. But I think that will be pure torture, man. I actually don't know if I ever want to do that run because I think that will be complete pure torture. This guy fun to parry. I haven't actually experimented with parrying too much in this game. Uh, give me this. Let me experiment with the most broken thing in this game, which is consumables. But 
when it comes to like more like normal challenges for this game, I haven't really found a mechanic that I would like to like play around with. Maybe I'll get more ideas after I finish the game. Alan, thanks for the follow. I get annoyed when a, when a game has a lot of second phases. I don't. I'm used to it. Uh, the, the one thing I don't like is when, people, when bosses have third phases. <laughs> then it becomes a little bit too much. So he has this attack and then we can dodge that and dodge... Uh, I wanted to dodge that but I couldn't. Let's heal here. Punish accordingly. Double dodge. Double attack. Fire. Worth it. I can't dodge that attack, I need to kite it. Should any bit not be this greedy, my friends? I'm way too greedy fighting bosses. But that's kinda have to play. That's kinda that's kinda how the playstyle of strength weapon goes. Mega greed, guys. That is the playstyle of strength weapons. Super greedy you need to be. The more you are greedy with strength weapons, the better. Oh, smacked. Shit. Dodge. Huh? Shouldn't you have a triple attack there? Just kite it, just kite it. Kite, kite, kite. Punish. Negative range attack. Yeah, running to his back seems to be the way to go here. He seems to be have a blind spot to his back. Or at least he's much harder for him to hit you when you're on his ass. Skip the cutscene. The new world to we need to make him flame. That is a horrible dodge, Toto. That was absolutely horrible. Stay where you are. There we go. Oh, that was a horrible dodge. This is literally... That's a Godfrey move right there. What the... That is literally a Godfrey move right there. What the hell, Miyazaki? Have you made, have you made this game as well? What is happening? Mm, don't be greedy, Toto. Don't be greedy. Fire. Get some fire bit. Oofed. Negative range, my friends. Negative range, indeed. Stagger. Sixth sense, guys. I'm telling you. It is literally six cents. He has a follow-up attack there. Have some fire. Grab the post. Have some decay. I'm actually gonna build up here decay. Don't be greedy. Oh Okay, hit and run tactics from now. Hit and run tactics. We have enough health to survive. Fire attack! Or fire attack! Get track pitch! Fight. Don't tell me he has a third phase. Lord Vader, what's up? Please, please, no third phase, please. That definitely means he doesn't have a third phase. <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? Oh, the waifu is coming. Oh, Lady Maria, guys. Oh. Uh, okay. Wait, the, the Iron Maiden dude is the waifu? I told you, Uno Reverse. I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Geppetto's creations are... You are surprised. Models. I literally have 1,500 hours in Elden Ring. What is there to surprise you my anymore? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among... I love how he's literally named Manus. 
I've known your father for a long... Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification... But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. What do you suppose our cure has created here? Uh, monsters? You're short-sighted. Fuck you. Just like your father. <laughs> but you speak the truth as you see it. Just like everyone else. We, on the other hand, are visionary. Every time any character we in any the art form or game says he's a visionary, the he's almost always the most evil the motherfucker in that death. universe. I'm pretty sure Joseph Mengele had the same excuse in World War II. He was a visionary. A purified human who overcomes the petrification Every time. disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Our undertaking is to help others. Ergo's power can do even more. Shut up more. and let me stick this pickaxe up your ass. Waking, its abilities are limitless. Ludwig is playing Eldering? Currently? Lord? Power. What is he doing in Eldering? Beyond your... So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph. Oh, this guy likes to Maybe talk a lot. I'm gonna definitely kill him. In any case, good luck. Standing you have to pass the lies of P. Malania. Is the lies of P. Malania worse than real Malania? Keep your chin up, puppet. And I'll see you Zaid, thanks for the compliment. Glad you like the content. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the alchemists. I think it's worse. Nah, it's probably not. Probably not worse. Malenia is really horrible, guys. I don't think anybody create, can create that abomination. Which is Malenia. Don't worry, Malenia. We'll get you. Uh, 1,700. Nice. 17,000, actually. Way worse? I don't trust you guys. I don't think anybody can create anything worse than Malenia. That might be a little bit of copium. There is plenty of worse than Malania, but in like a good game. <laughs> I don't think you can create something worse than Malania in a good game. She made you rage a lot. After Guardian Ape, no other boss has ever made me rage. So we'll see. Let's go level up and test a couple of weapons. I'm suspecting the quote-unquote Malania is the next boss, right? The only thing worse is Analoid Malania, true. <laughs> we have to try Analoid Malania once on stream. I really doubt we're gonna beat her, but we never have to try it. Analoid Malania seems absolute shite. It's actually just horrible. Uh, level up first, right? How many bosses travel? Actually, tell me. How many bosses are left? Let's go 25. I don't think I need more health. What do you guys think? Is 25 vitality enough? I think I need more endurance, honestly, but I can't really increase more endurance. Eight or more, that's fine, yeah. Cool. I mean, I guess we go motivity, right? More more damage is always the way to go. Do more Eldering videos? What do you mean, Ronin? I'm literally posting Eldering videos all the time. How much more can I make them? That is Fia without the rope. Nice. Capacity can we increase my weight, which is probably also a good idea. I feel like we should level capacity and uh, motivity right now. More? I can't. Like, literally, I cannot make any more than I'm currently already making. Like, next video is going to be Eldering, don't worry. Uh, I wanted to test out a couple of things. Let's see here. Bro, watch them all. I mean, if you watch them all... You're definitely free, feel, free, feel, feel free to demand more, but you're gonna have to be patient, my friend. Uh, cock sword, nice. Let's try out the cock sword, guys, first. Motivity is strength, yeah. Because you're motivated. Let's try out the cock sword. Uh, is it motivity or is it both? Quality. Oof, my head hurts way too much. We're gonna call it here for today, guys. I think we're gonna try out a couple of weapons here. 
That's a cool ass blade though. Moveset seems to be pretty good. What's the fable art? Pretty good, okay. That's a pretty good weapon. Uh let's try this. That seems like a strength weapon, right? Let's see. It's an advanced weapon, so wait. What does advanced weapon mean? Isn't advanced Nice. Hmm, this seems like a very weird weapon. It's 100% always electrical, which is very nice. This might be my favorite weapon, guys. Now, we're not gonna like, call it immediately in Fake Slap, you don't worry. But I want to combine this weapon with something else. Let's, let's test this. I have an idea, guys. I have an idea, guys, here. Let me try this. Currently, so far, the pickaxe is my favorite weapon. The pickaxe seems to be very, very cool. Uh, assemble weapon, assemble new weapon. Uh, let's have that as the head. And where is... Exploding pickaxe handle. We can't combine that. Oh, we can. So that is the head. An exploding pickaxe handle. And weapon assemble, yeah. Now we have an exploding chainsaw pickaxe. It feels like a strength weapon, but it's not. But you can change the scaling of the weapon based on the handle. So do we have electricity now on this? Do we have electricity now on this? We do. This seems pretty good combination. Like, we now have the handle that we used for the pickaxe. But we also have inner, like, electricity buildup. This is either completely broken or completely useless, by the way. Like, we're gonna have to test this out quite a lot. The weapon art changes, though, which I don't like. Giant pizza cutter? Electric pizza cutter, my friend. Electric pizza cutter. I like this. The problem is we need to level up these things more. Hmm. I'm gonna have to manage my inventory. Wait for him to catch the Mjolnir? Is there a Mjolnir in this game? <laughs> Please tell me there is a Mjolnir in this game. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just now figuring out that strength is broken. Rot Pest and Advance seems to be also broken. Uh, where are you? Where are you at here? We're at the halfway point of the game, from what I can tell. I have a lot of storage weapons as well. Let me actually put them over here. Hmm. Can I... Wait, let me try one more thing. I sound a lot like an Italian. Uh, do Italians even use pizza cutters? I would really think of Italians as cutting pizza with their hands. Like, they should be eating so much pizza, they should be able to cut them with their little hand. Like, karate chop them. I don't think Italians... True Italians don't need pizza cutters. Uh, let's see. I want to try out... Can I combine this? I love how you can combine absolutely everything. Exploding pickaxe with a dancer curved sword. <laughs> Oh, yes, we are doing bullshit shenanigans right now, guys. I love how there is basically infinite... infinite. Oh, lord, I have a scythe. Oh, lord. The problem is I don't know what is good to combine. I really don't know what is good to combine with, with, with what. But I feel like we can create some disgusting combinations here with a little bit of experimentation. Try one more thing. Mjolnir is at the end area. Nice. Okay, we have Mjolnir. Uh, there is also the electric coil stick. Which was very interesting. Every handle and blade have a slash and a step scaling. And they should fit together. Huh. Longer pickaxe. I don't think I have a longer handle. So pickaxe handle. We can actually put the, like... The problem is choosing the handle is much more fickle because we need to choose the handle that gives us motivity, right? Pipe wrench? Let me test this out, guys. Oh shit, let me combine it. Crap. Crap baskets. Uh, pipe wrench. The cats need to make an appearance. You want them? No problem. We'll do the cats as a final offering. <laughs> Wait, I combined it wrong. What the hell? Hmm. 
this and this combine. Yes, thank you. Uh, this. Let's try this out. <laughs> Shorter pickaxe, guys. Shorter pickaxe. But now we have these charge attacks, which are insane. But I feel like the pickaxe by itself is very good. Like, I really don't want to change the pickaxe. Yeah, the, the, honestly, the pickaxe by itself for me is very cool. Unless I can give it a faster, like, moveset or somehow. Bro, is that round table grace but a lamp? What do you mean? Are they trying to copy Eldering? Guys, first of all, Eldering is copying Demon Souls. <laughs> Uh, Wait, am I heavy load? What? Yeah, I'm probably heavy load because, yeah, slightly heavy. Alright, I'm gonna just stick with my normal pickaxe. The pickaxe is really nice. The pickaxe by itself is very, very nice. I don't really want to change it, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, pickaxe and uh, exploding pickaxe handle, yeah. Unless I can give it more damage. Of course, I know lies of... I know of Zaid, but... Sometimes it's hard to tell when somebody's joking or not, so I apologize if I offended you. Uh... Yada, 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 I agree. Also, welcome to the chat, my friend. Chat, my friend. Police Matrak, it's pretty... I tried the police baton, actually, I did. Oh, wait, this gives a... Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second here. Instead of going exploding pickaxe handle... Can we just go police baton and then bat everybody into submission? Let's assemble this abomination of a weapon. Toast, what's up? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this just looks dumb. <laughs> this is a very dumb looking weapon, guys. We basically have a gun that doesn't shoot, right? <laughs> Christ almighty. I feel like we just need to bash people's skulls in with this. At this point. A police pickaxe, guys. We have A scaling and strength, which is insane. Oh yeah, this is definitely my weapon of choice. This is basically a gun, but can't shoot. Christ almighty. I think we actually might continue this next week. I really like playing Lies of Peace. It's very fun. But I also want to do other things in between. Oh, I'll finish it off on stream though, definitely. Guys, I'm gonna call it here. My head hurts like hell. Like, today has been very annoying for me. I'm gonna go get some little bit of rest. I need to actually edit the video for, like, Wednesday or something like that when I will release it. Hope you guys enjoyed Lies of P. If you do, definitely, I'll do definitely more of it. I most likely enjoy it. But I need... I need help with figuring out challenge run ideas for this game. This game seems to be perfect for challenge running. It just needs a little bit of like thought put into it on what the challenge run would be, actually. But yeah, we'll figure that out next time. Next time, it's also going to be arcane only. Guys, hope you have a great morning, evening, afternoon. Uh, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.